Bomb, 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 bomb. Hello. <laughs> I have been listening to the song on loop this whole time. Like, I've had the game open for probably about like 30 or 40 minutes. And I think at this point, the song is just rent free in my head. It became like the, uh, the Wii, the Wii theme. It's just kind of in my head now. So I just hear the sound of happy music and dog harmonics. And it's crazy. So hello, everyone. <laughs> welcome in, welcome in. Uh, today I was like, I was originally going to probably do more DVD, which it might still happen. But um, this game came onto my radar and my brain is like, wow, I need to. 15 stream streak. Nice, Renee. Let's go. Let's go. We got the fucking bear twerk. Still, <laughs> still can't get over the fact that that is okay. But um, slimes is not crazy. You need to name it like... I don't know. The, the, the jiggle dance. Cause that, I, I can see the curvature of them ass cheeks on that. That's crazy. There's also this one. Let's see. Oh yeah, true. And like the thing is with, with Kieran's like... It, there's not even like a definition that there's an ass there to begin with. It's just a giant round like moving object. Like for as far as you're concerned, it's like a circle moving in a circle. And yet that got down. But I wonder if it's just because of his naming convention. If he ended up naming it like twerking or something like that and that or booty or something like that and the and the system didn't like the name. I don't know. I'll have to check in with him. But uh yeah we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna play a dog game. Because I was feeling, you know, chaotic. And this game lets me be chaotic without having to uh, sabotage any teammates or anything. So, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I don't know how long it is. From what I see in the menu, there's like badges to collect, like achievements. So, and it's interesting because this game is free to play. And it just kind of came out of nowhere. And it started in default in Japanese. So that was funny. Luckily, I can read Japanese, so it wasn't hard to navigate to the language section, but <laughs> it was, uh, I was like, oh yeah, it really is, it really is, uh, not something they expected probably be played too much, uh, in the West. <laughs> but let me, uh, look at that. Look at that. I'm gonna just, like, touch it. That big fluff. Get the big fluff. Wait, let me uh let me wait. I have the I have the power to do this. Wait a minute. Look at that. Look at that cutie. Doing the wiggles. And I've been staring at this for a while now as I've set up everything. And the more I see it, the more I just wanna pick up the buddy. I just wanna lift him up and be like, you're mine now. Here's your baby. Yeah, it's a big baby. So fluffy, but that's me. I'm gonna, I'm gonna be uh, causing some havoc. So, you know what's new? <laughs> People plus chic. Uh, it doesn't even show up in my chat up top. Apparently, this chat box doesn't show it. Let me see. Does the other chat box show? Does show the thing? Let me see. It does. It does show up there. It shows up there, but this uh, this chat box does not display. 7 TV, apparently. <laughs> In any case. I don't know if it's going to be like left dominant or right dominant, so we'll find out if uh, which side I need to be on. I prefer being on the right side, but I have no clue. I have not opened this game yet at all. Palm Deli. <gasps> it's so cute. New house! Fumi, explain this to me. The game? Or is are you coming in with something external? This is already mad cute. Uh, I am a dog, I I go I go make mess. That's that's game. Buddy.
He's got he's got the inspiration. Let's go. How to splash. Left click to splash the dirt. Right click to cover yourself with dirt. I'm not using a controller. We got a move, we got dash, we got a jump, we got an action, we got a put off, which I'm not sure what that means. We got the palm emote. Okay. Flash, rub, zoom in, zoom out, and craw. Way to the secret room. Find the hidden painting. Collect all the paintings to open the door. Sure, I know what that means. This in Cat Simulator? Oh, look at me. Can I zoom in? Oh, I can zoom in. Look at me. Look at me. Isn't it on a glorious second? I can. Palm emote? Oh, look at me. This, this is the only game I need. I'm a full-time streamer of this game now, guys. Anyone who was expecting Hunt or Dead by Daylight, never again. This right here? This is my game. Mm-hmm. Okay. Hello, we got Roomba. Oh, I activate Roomba. Oh, I already got mud on me? That's great. Can I go back outside? No, I can't. Okay. What can I get into in here? Mama. Mama. Mother. Hello? Mother, wake up. I crave violence. Mother. Mother, notice me. I crave the violence. Yes, this is, I'm gonna have an esports team for this. Look at this right here. Look at me. Over here. What do I do with this? Oh, oh I can all. Oh, I got the mud off of me. Oh, okay, can I roll in? Oh, I can roll in my existing mud. Wait, but I woke up, mom. Is that bad? Is, I, I saw her. I saw her get up. Am I in trouble now? Ah, no, we good. We good. We good. Yes. Yes, this is this is truly Oh, this is truly the game. This is truly the game of all time. You need to stop. Can I stop you? I made a mistake turning you on. Actually I don't think you're actually able to clean my stuff, so you know what? I am the brown dog of fate. And I will get literally everything everywhere. Dirty. Or my name is in Palm. So, here we go. Hell yeah. Oh, the bot's not doing too good. Oh, the mod spread it. The bot's spreading my uh my my filth now. This is this is what we needed. This is this is a nice cozy cozy game. I kind of want the volume up a little bit. I don't know. I kind of want to get a little bit more immersed in the dog. Yes. Yes. Wait, is that a fan? Oh, wait a minute. And then if I just... Yep. Hell yeah. Get my mud all on that fan. I'm an artist. Challenge. Yes, I am. I am the best artist on the planet. What if I like... Yes. Housewarming party? I got something else now. Oh, do I get a party hat? Can we get who Wolfie Paula tweets? Yes. I mean, one sec. Oh, I can run right. Um, put this on. Hell yeah. What can I do with this frisbee? By the way, can I like throw it? Oh, I'm the cutest motherfucker on the planet. Oh hell yeah. Look at me. In all my glory. This, this is what you guys subscribe to right here. It ain't, it ain't horror. It's this. This is my final evolution. I finally reached here. No accolades from this point onward will mean anything to me. This, this is the pinnacle. This is amazing. Okay. Oh, dancing on the adjust desk. Oh, I can look at the badges from here. Okay. So this is, I already have a couple. I'm, I'm killing it, I'm killing it. We need to find all of the things. This goes on until I find all the things. So I like, pause the bill to go up of the cleaning bill. And then that gives me the next destructive thing I can do. I'm here for that. Oh, look at this, oh, 
look at this little picture. Look at my face in there. Look at that. That's all that matters. No, no, no. No. Pick that up. Pick that up. No, no, no. Drop it. Yeah. Look at that, chat. Look at my happy family. They're so excited. I can't wait until mom wakes up and sees the amazing mess that I made. Gonna love it. He is gonna love it so much. Heck yeah. I mean, let me just... What happens if I get it on the TV? Total damage 10k. Dominated the living room. Hell yeah, it's my living room now. Let me just get all muddied up again. Heck yeah. This, this is... This is the game that makes my career right here. Okay. Okay. Um, let me get really muddy. We're gonna check out this corner over here. What's over here? Oh, it's all this stuff. Ooh, wait. Wait, wait, wait. Knocking things over and stuff messes things up too. Okay, cool. So I should just destroy everything. I'm cementing the fact, yes. Mine. Smash, smash. Smash. Smash, smash. Wait. Hey, mom. Mother. Mother. Excuse me. Mother. It's actually a lot harder than it looks like. I understand the strife now. Am I too heavy because of holding this? No, I'm good. I thought I was being fat shamed. Mother. Mother, you really, you really can sleep through all of this. That's my mother. Well, fair enough. Up. Let me just, uh, let me just make sure I get all, all of this. All the yummy food. All the things. Can I carry this? No, no, no. Carry, carry, carry that. No, I can't carry sharp objects. Unfortunate. I could have I could have ran around with a knife. No. We love twenty three thousand dollars worth of damage. Come on. Let me rub my body against everything. Gear. Gear. What did I just do? Invading kitchen. Yes. This is my kitchen. Come here. Come here. I, edible mud, everything, everything's edible if you try hard enough. Come on, let me up there. Let me at him. Kitchen invasion completed. I unlock something else. What is that? <gasps> it's an elephant head. Where is that? 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 Mother, mother, where is it? Mother, where are we? Is it over here? Mother. Where is my gift, mother? I don't see my gift, mother. This house is massive. Why is it shiny over here? Palmer, man. I don't like that this place is clean. I take insult to this. Hi. Yes. This is my corner now. This is all that matters to me. I must claim this house. As my own. Wait. Down here. Basement living room. Are we rich? We got two living rooms. Tom is in business. Can I bounce? Oh my god, it actually bounces. I'm a bouncy. I'm a bouncing. I'm bouncing, chat. Hell yeah. Heck yeah. Like that one bounce and I bounce like two, three times. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Yes. Yes. Can I emote while I do this? No. I can emote on the bed. Look at me. Look at the little wiggle. All right. Here we go. I need some. I need some dirt. I need some mud or something. There's wine. Wait, what's happening? What is this? Am I spilling wine everywhere? Oh, hell yeah. I can be all dirty. 
Is that just to help me get up top? Hell yeah. Knock over this fire. Take this fire, knock it over, something. Fine, don't. It's fine. I don't need it. I bet you there's an achievement or something for this game to just cover the entire house, like, perfectly in dirt. I make this my room now. Yes. This is now the palm quarters. This is an insane office, man. These speakers are probably worth so much money. Look at them. Can I knock them over? No, I can't. But I can make them yellow. I can make everything yellow. Can I knock this over? No, I can't. They get the bread for real, for real. Like, look at this. Look at this. Look at this drawing right here. Look at that. Oh, I fell off. Oh, I'm in a bottle. What is this? Wait, what is this? I got a bottle. I got a bottle. I'm a pupper and I got a bottle. Hell yeah. I need more filth. I need to run around. I love the floor. What's this circle? I dominated the basement? Hell yeah. Can I get the stairs all messy? Can. I need more dirt though. <laughs> Mother. 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 Great, but do you have a movie theater down here? For real? Damn. Hi, uh, Crystal. How you doing? Oh, let me give you a little hello. Hello. Hi. Yes. Yes. I feel like I feel like I shouldn't be using my model and I should just be using my uh Ifumi Pawa react for this game. Let me uh mess up the bed. Total damage, 50 grand. Hell yeah. Thank you for the lurk. Hope you're having fun with your birthday shenanigans. Yeah. Mother. You never let me on the bed, mother. I don't know why you would never let me on the bed. I am the best. You could love me. My little yaps. My little yaps are so good. Hit the couch. Wait, what happens if I take this? Oh, what's happening? Oh, right. I never got the elephant head. Wait, wait, wait. What does this do? <gasps> yes, I spray ink everywhere. Let's go. This. This is what I needed. Yes, I can have a bunch of different hats. Let's go. Let's spread ink everywhere. Let's go. Where was my other hat? What happens if I what happens if I just stand here? Look at that. But different kinds of paint up there. Hell yeah. Okay, alright, let's keep going down. Let's coat the house. Wait, this corner needs more needs more love. See, how many how many achievos have I gotten so far? We got we need six more here. We're actually almost done with the living room. Little sour, shining palm, and welcome palm. Oh, do I have to make the entrance all covered in covered in my love? Let me let me just do some roll. Come here. Heck yeah. Heck yeah. My spot. Is that was that the achievement? Was that the well? It wasn't. Hmm. Well, this is actually. This might actually be the back entrance. Never adopting a small dog. Okay, just let me roll in mud. I got you. Hey, how you doing, Crimson? 
gonna get this all messy down here. Look at that. Look at that happy face. Heck yeah. Cool. Alright. I need to go downstairs, though. I need to focus on the downstairs. We need full coverage. We need full coverage downstairs. What's all this? I don't know, but it's getting wet. Yes. Now let me smack around everything. Wait. Give me the tomato. Oh, I ate the tomato. I can eat the tomatoes. Oh, I can eat all the food too? I can eat everything? Yes, yes. 10 out of 10 IGN game. Wine here? This is perfect. Game is perfect. I picked up the wrong thing. I want to pick up this thing. Yes. That is all the way upstairs. It's another fan. Okay, okay. I'm a fan of that. Sorry, not sorry. Let me, uh... Can I get in here? I can. Wait. Do not press? Well, I pressed it. Oh, temperature control is important. Well, I I don't know why your temperature, why your wine is uh, volatile like that, but um, there's a way up here. There's something up here. Eh. Can I jump it? No. How do I get up there? This way. We gotta go this way. <gasps> oh, full circle. How do I, how do I... How do I get up there? I want uppies. I want... Get out of my way. Fine. I'll get messy. Alright. I'm in the box now. Oh no. Okay. I shook it off. We're good. I want uppies. Drop this. I want it. I want up there. I want up there. Man. Wait, there was something in the living room about being sour, too. Let me see. Is there like a lemon or something? Ah, oh, there's a little sour. It said eat the fruit. Okay, okay. We got two more in the living room. We got welcome palm and shining palm. Uh, okay, well, it's something with this, right? What's this? Is that a cannon? Like those things are given high woofy when he dirties enough of the house. Yes. Oh. I have a cannon on my head now. That periodically shoots things. Hell yeah. Uh, how do I use this frisbee? That's not how. I don't think there's a button for me to use this frisbee, right? There wasn't really many controls. Uh, rub that uh, uh, palm mode. Put off, which I mean, I think they mean drop, is what that's supposed to say. You know, none of those buttons let me do something, so I have to do something with this frisbee. <laughs> oh, here's the here's the elephant head. Oh, do a little do a little squirt. <gasps> There's giant sharks. Yes, keep out. I think not. Yo, this place is awesome. Can I live here? A little bit open for me though. Well, not, not a lot, not a lot of uh, you know, sound management here. But um, eh. turn that on and get messy. Heck yeah. I want my cannon back, though. Give me my cannon back. Where's my cannon? Where'd I set my cannon? Uh. No, for real, where's my cannon? Is it downstairs? 
Oh, it respawned here. Oh, it actually like explodes. Oh, that's really good. Oh, heck yeah. Oh, I could just like stand here and put a bow. Oh, it looks like a paw print. Oh, it shoots in a paw print. It's a paw cannon. Wait, can I go through this wall? No. Wait, there's a slide? Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Go up here. Am I able to slide down that? We go this way. Where? Oh, it's over there. What's this? I shook up the soda. Or whatever this is. What am I? What am I holding? I guess that's a soda. I'm kind of just holding it in my breast. It's all good. We can't really slide down it, but you know, the thoughts there. Oh, there's a window here. I just like blind the window. Wait, there's a completely white bear here. What if I make it not? Color it. Wait, let me. I need some paint. I knew it. I knew that would have to be an achievement. I knew it. How about the train? This? I love this so much. This is like so therapeutic. Just messing up everything. Good time. Heck yeah. Do the shake. Love this so much. I was like, where am I getting this other paint from? I'm like, right, because of the cannon on my head. Ooh, are those paint Roombas? Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Wait, 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 wait. Go be free, go be free, go be free, go be free. Yes! They are paint Roombas. Hello, hello, welcome in, Foxy. Hello, Raiders. Hello, welcome in, welcome in. Let me give you a nice little hello here. Wait a minute. Here we go. Hi. Hi. How's everyone doing? Hello, hello. Hello, look at me. Look at me. Hello. Give me a little, a little wiggle. Look at that. How you doing? How's everyone doing? Nah, oh, you're so cute. I know, right? Look at me. I'm just making a mess because I'm a good pupper. I'm a good pupper. I see, I see mom running around all the time, putting all kinds of liquids on counters and, and stuff like that. And she, then she's happy and everything's clean. So I'm just helping out. I'm just helping. I'm, I'm putting, I'm putting this and it's really pretty. Maybe, she, maybe she'll be happy about it. Maybe she'll really appreciate me. I have a cannon on my head though. That's not normal, but it's okay. I'm making it normal. Wait, the one thing was called like welcome home or something like that, so it's probably just painting this door, right? Is that is that is that what my mission is? Or is it like do I have to shoot that painting? I don't know. Beautiful blue house, yes. I've done a hundred thousand dollars of renovations. What um, does monkey do oh can I put these glasses on? Oh hell yeah. Look at me. Look at me. I'm the best. I'm the coolest. I'm the coolest pup in town. Heck yeah. Can I put this hat on? Heck yeah. I look good. When did I... Why do I have a bottle stuck to my back? I don't know why I have a bottle stuck to my, to my back. Welcome in, Raiders, again. That was fun playing, uh... Played Up, as I almost forget the name of it. Let's see. How many achievements do I have left in the living room? I have one more... Oh, I got the I got the welcome home. Knock out many things in the entrance. This is my place exactly. What is shining, shining palm though? Is it something with the lights here? 
Is it the is it is it these lights? Wait, where'd mom go? Mom? Hello? I have separation anxiety. Hello? Oh, I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna have to make everything more painted. Didn't think I'd like table waiting. Yeah, it's a it's a it's a fun chaotic game. Have you played Overcooked? Let's see. Wait, I can interact with this. I'm not tasty. Wait, let me let me uh, let me drop that. And let me eat this. Oh heck yeah. Oh, what's that? Is that a machine gun? That's at the TV, right? <laughs> Wait, that's not this TV. Uh, was there a big TV downstairs? <laughs> yes! Something else, too. Come up here. What's this? What did I... Oh, it's a little, 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 got a little... Okay, you know what? I'm painting, so it's better to be safe. Let's go. Let's get everything nice and pretty for mom. <laughs> thank you for the Lurk Foxy, and again, thank you for the raid. Yes. Heck yeah. Heck yeah. Oh, this is perfect. I don't actually need to roll around anymore. I could just shoot everything with my Gatling gun. Wait. This is new here. Oh, right. Top of the house. About to be my top of the house. Let's go. Heck yeah. Liberated in the name of dog. My place now. Oh, I fell. Okay. Is this just firing paint or is this mud? I don't know. Either way. What if you can't see outside? Is that a trophy? Is that for completing the living room? Where was that? Oh, it's back here. I got a trophy. I, I'm just holding it now. Oh, did it replace my mask? I think it replaced my mask. Yeah, I ain't got my mask anymore. That's okay. Okay, did we finish the? Did we finish the living room? We didn't finish the living room. There's something else I'm missing here. I don't know what Shining Palm is. What is this black ink? I don't know, I'm taking it though. Mine now. Whoa. Wait. What's happening? Why is there a demonic sacrifice upstairs? Oh, it's downstairs actually. Oh, what's that? I want it. I want it. What is it? Oh, it's big. Is it big me? That is big me. Hell yeah. This is how you summon me. Yes. I don't know why the money is going up so exponentially. Why did I, why did I just get so much money? Is it because I'm painting a golden statue and therefore devaluing the painting? Okay, uh, I want to get up there, but I don't know how to get... Oh, there's some way to drop... Oh, there's some way to drop from above. Wait a minute, I have to go all the way upstairs and there's a hole. There's a hole somewhere. Excuse me. Wait, mom. Was that mom? Mom! Mom! Mother. 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 Acknowledge me, mother. I love you. Please. Please, mother. Why are you so tired, mother? I'm doing the cleaning for you. Okay, whatever. I'll be back. I'll be back, I'll be back, I'll be back, I'll be back. Okay, there's a hole. There's a hole somewhere. Is it in the kid's bedroom? Uh, no, it's not over here. Let me let me just make this a little bit. Let me make this a little bit cleaner over here. Gotta clean this all up. Um. Let me think. Wait a minute. So the room's over here, right? 
But I've like painted everything. So it's gonna be pretty hard to know where I'm supposed to go. When I've already painted everything. It was like I thought it was like here, right? Um Is it under there? Wait, how do I get down there? How do I get in there? It's somehow in there. Right? I'm trying to clip my camera into the wall. This thing said keep out. Oh, look at the look at my fluffy fellows. God, seeing High Wolfie run around the machine gun sends me. Yeah, this is my this is my ultimate evolution. You've seen me play Hunt Showdown. This is this is what the uh, culmination of over a thousand hours of Hunt Showdown has led to. This is the future. I don't know why I keep producing ink. Also, twenty million dollars worth of damages. By the way. So wait, why why is it sometimes black and sometimes brown? I don't know what's happening with that, but how do I get in here? What is that? I don't know. How do I get in here? Okay, all right, fine. Let's see. Let's see if we could find another achievo. Maybe there's an achievement that's keeping me back. I got chores after dinner. Chores after dinner. What does that mean? Honestly, this game is uh, double S <laughs> plus 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 tier. Bit of a Game of the Year award and Game of the Year version. Hell yeah. Mom's gone again. Mother. Why do you keep abandoning me, mother? Let's see. Do I have to cook or something? Hmm. There's so much damages. Wait, so it just I paint everything black now whenever I roll? I guess. This is what happens when you leave me lonely, mother. My separation anxiety, mother. Hey, I got the chores after dinner. That means that the kitchen's done. We have our first paw print. Heck yeah. All right, what's what's memory? My house is museum. Hero landing. Visited all rooms. Congratulations. So I have some stuff in the nursery. With the basement living room, we got palm delivery and good night, mom. Mom down there right now? Mother. Love me, mother. Please. Wait, I see a ramp. Wait, 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 wait. Heck yeah. What is this place? A little robot buddy too? I, I can't go out there though. But I can go with this. Hello, Rooted. Hello, hello, how you doing? Wait. How do I get superhero landing? I assume I have to jump off of something. Wait, there's something over here. What's this? Am I in a box now? Oh my god. I'm sneaky. I'm a sneaky box now. I'm Metal Gear up in here. They don't call me Snake. They call me Pupper. Heck yeah. I'm assuming that's the palm delivery achievement. Okay. And if I climb up here? No, no, no. How am I to get up here? My stumpy little legs don't let me jump that high. Uh, actually, I don't know if I need to, actually, to be fair. Because I can just get up there from this side, too. Let me see. 
Hmm. Where would this superhero landing be from? What did I just damage? Hmm. Let me see. Two more goals to open. See, there's a drop right there, right? With the little paw up there. But how do I do that? Wait, what's... I thought I saw an interact. Oh, it's this. No, I want my box. Yee. Yeah. Is this like a whole ass other kitchen down here? There's a second living room and a second... We, we bougie, man. We bougie. Ow. So, it's absolute right corner. Why'd you stop? Keep painting. I didn't tell you you can quit. Oh, hi, Mom. Hello, Mom. Hi, hi. Mom. Hey, Mom. I'm a box now. Look at me. Look at me, Mom. I'm a box. This is, this is... Oop, I could jump on the beds. Man, I didn't really get these beds messy. Let me get, let me get the beds messy. We love 20 million dollars of damage. Um, okay, put the pirate hat on. I can, but it gets rid of my, my trophy. This is prime whittle dog behavior, hell yeah. How do I get down below? Because, like, the doorway should be around here. I'm assuming it's in here, but I don't know how to get in... into this room, right? I don't know how to get in there. Else, I'm stuck right now? I'm stuck? Okay. Can I drop this, please? Thank you. Um, how do I get in here? Let's see, we are in the nursery. Colorful balloons, attack plus 10, two wheels left, one wheel left, all aboard. Oh, I gotta paint the whole train? Let me, let me, let me... Oh, no, no, no. I gotta put the, the the wheel. The wheel. It's down here in the living room? This. I need this. Wait. It's so hard to jump. do this jump. Holy crap. Okay. That's what this is. I thought it was a frisbee. It's a wheel. Okay. So there's one more wheel somewhere. Um, where? Where is there a wheel? I need to help mom clean up everything. Is that the wheel? No. What's this? I don't know. That was like a paintball. Oh, colorful balloons. Okay. We got that achievo. Okay. Uh... Still more in the wine cellar. The wine deluge and hidden aisle. Wait. Hidden aisle? Are yeah, there still whatever shredding palm is? Palm delivery. Hmm. Well, let's go see if we can find another wheel. It's probably not up here with the rest of the stuff. I'd assume it's downstairs, right? You would think so. God, it's so hard to make out anything now, though. Oh, there's this little fruit here. Let me eat that. We also get this running. I'll clean up a little bit. Um, Mom, where's the last wheel? 
Mother. Um. Okay, what was that? Oh, it's just a book. I want the book. I don't know where these last things are. Wait, I did something? Hmm. The fact that it says secret aisle makes me wonder if I can like clip into a wall or something. I get into a wall. No. Hmm. Wait, is there something here? No. Huh. Can I hit this again? What was that? I'm gonna get rid of this. This is making it a little bit hard to see what I'm doing. And I'm kind of getting annoyed by the noise, so let me go... Um... Hmm. There's the whale one over here. Oh, that one's still shooting. Wait. I have both now? Oh. Okay, well, I guess this is my life now. Um. I don't know what that noise is. What's this? Soda. We have a lot of soda in this house. Um, so the living room, the living room is all, no wait, the living room is not done. Kitchen's done. There's still more in the living room. But I don't know what Shining Palm is. Like. Oh, Mom's back. Um. Is that box just floating there? Huh. You're close to completing like three are areas. Brilliant job, you Wolfie Pawa. Yes. I'm trying to see. What it is I need to do. Huh. I can't go in here yet. I think that's the door I'm trying to open. This game is made by Bondi. Watch me going in that door be like an announcement for a game. It's gonna be like, hey, we're making this game. Um. Ah, sorry, I'm really tired. I only slept like two hours. Um. Hmm. I don't know what that noise is. Hmm. Okay, that reminds me one sec, chat. One sec. I forgot to open. <laughs> I forgot to open Mix It Up again, because that's, you know, my life, right? Alright, any any ideas, chat, where these last things could be? What shining shining palm could mean? Wait. What's this? There's like Why is there like an updraft here? I mean that's obviously the you know the vent, but is there a meaning behind this? Yes, I'm just sitting there with my machine gun roaring. I got a cannon and a machine gun. I don't understand. I don't understand, bitch. Understand. 
I didn't know I can get under the table like that. Go figure the dog can go under the table. Can I get this machine gun off of me? Okay, I can. Holy crap. Okay, cool. I was just really tired of hearing that machine gun. Um, What could be the last thing I need in the living room? Huh. What do you think, chat? What do you, what do you, what do you think? Hmm. Uh, so we got... In the living room, we have Shining Palm. I don't know what would refer to the Shining. I thought it would be the lights, but I can't really... Unless I could dirty those lights? Somehow? Yeah, but that just goes up there. Your Google Foo tells you to unlock it after completing another area. Okay. Okay, so that so I'm just kind of content locked right now. While I figure out certain things. Okay. Well, the only place that I don't think I'm 100% in is upstairs. Um. Hmm. I don't know why mom moves around to sleep. Um. Hmm. I'm not sure. Also, I don't know where this last wheel is, too. I, I wonder if that last wheel is what's holding me back, right? Oh, look, look, look at me do the little pop, pop. Bap, 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 and then hit him with the spin. They never see the spin coming. Um. I have no idea what to do now. All aboard, yeah, that's from fixing the train. Wait, I got the two wheels? No. All aboard would mean the one more wheel. Um, lots of footprints. You want me to follow the footprints? I don't understand. I'm not getting the assignment. Help me, chat. Help me. I'm stuck. Step, chat. I'm stuck. A tunnel? Mama, mama. Mama, mama, mama. I mean, this is the tunnel. I don't know, man. Oh, what's this? <gasps> Chat. Look at it. I love this. This is never leaving me now. Um. That is great.
Hmm. Is that superhero landing? Yeah. Heck yeah. Okay, we got superhero landing. So that's a memory one. Jumped from a high place. I'm a superhero. Kept dashing for 100 meters. My house is museum. Visited all rooms. Congratulations. Oh, add. Sorry about that. I add. I'm sorry. Um. There's one in the nursery for attack plus 10. Is there like a video game thing or a, um. I don't know. Drop that. Drop it. Thank you. Something. All this paint up here. I might need to pick up something sharp. Uh... Why is there something sharp in the nursery? What is this? I don't have anything sharp in here. Everything's so muddy, I can't even tell. I have a fork, and it's like inside my skull right now. Um. Hmm. Suffering from your success, yes. Hard to see anything. What's this? What did I pick up? Oh, it's like an ink container. Um... I'm completely at a loss, chat. I have tissues, though. Also, why are there paint balloons everywhere? Who thought this was a smart idea? What's with the dog? Got a penguin. You can't really tell, but I got a penguin. Hmm. Door. I'm like trying to look at like every little thing and be like, is there something sharp in here? Looks like you're stuck without the third wheel for the train, wherever it may be. Yeah, wherever it may be indeed. Because I don't know where it is. I love that I can look through this wall like this. Because I got one from the living room. I don't know where I got the second one from. Because apparently I got two. Aw. That's cute. Hmm. It should stand out though because it shouldn't get painted. It seems like items that are important do not get painted. But it's still a pain in the ass to see things that are... That are painted, right? Hmm. Hold what? Oh. I want some wine. Yes. I don't know what that is. Um. Oh, hi, Mom. Good night, Mom. Okay, got that achievement. Um, 
Here's my Gatling gun. Put my sunglasses back on. I should know that gets rid of my ghost. Give me my ghost. My ghost. Um. Hmm. What is this? Drum? Hmm. Um. Wine cellar, we have. Wine Delusion and the Hidden Isle, which I assume at least one of those is from dropping up there. Which I can only probably access after I access whatever that room is upstairs, which probably is in relation to the train, which means I need to find the other wheel, which is right next to me. Yippee! As I was talking, I saw it. Aha! Uh -huh. Take this upstairs. Slap it on Tren. Yippee, let's go. Oh, come on. I want to go with. I want to go with. Yeah. Yeah. Heck yeah. Oh no, I'm getting pushed. I made it. Mama made it. Oh, there's something here. I'm getting hit by a train. I'm scared to go through there. It might end the game. There's so many penguins in here. What's this? Which is a bucket on my head? I'll take it. Hey, what was that? A robot. Um. Yeah, I guess we dropped down here, I guess. That's the hidden aisle. Okay. What's this button do? Oh. Well, that's the wine. Don't know why all of their wine explodes, but that's the wine cellar done. So now we need one in literally all of these rooms and then three here. Hmm. Um. Wait, is there one here? There is one here. Palm delivery. What that means. Um, I don't know what palm delivery is. Hey, Kyoko. Here I am, here I'm once again. Hello, hello. Palm delivery. Um, let's see. What would my delivery be? Yeah, I mean, I had that box from earlier. This box. Oh, it's not that box, but... I wore a box for a bit. Climbing boxes next to the nursery. Drawing room. Ah. Wait. 
Is this an on moment? I don't know if this is an on moment. I don't think this is an on moment. I don't think it is. Um, like that room, that drawing room. But I shouldn't be able to knock them all down, right? If if it's If it's an objective, I shouldn't be able to knock them down. No! Damn it. Because these are the only ones I fucked up. But... I don't know. Because there's those that go up to the roof. And then there's those there that go up into the actual drawing area. But that doesn't really give me any leverage because I can also just kind of like jump on this chair. Or jump from above to achieve that. How are you guys today? I'm doing alright. I'm incredibly tired. I might honestly have a really short stream today. Because I am beyond tired. And this chill game actually is not helping much. We'll see how I feel after we're done with this. But I really want, I'm really being stubborn and trying to get the achievements here. Even though they don't actually translate to my account. Like I don't get like achievements on my account. It's just the game. Cause especially because now we're so close, right? We have three for the memory, we have one for the living room, one for the nursery, and one for the basement. The nursery has attack plus 10. The got shining palm in the in the living room. We got my house is a museum, visited all rooms, congratulations. And then palm delivery. Unless there's something for me to gain by going downstairs, but I'm afraid the game's just going to end if I go downstairs. Like, will it end if I go in there? It looks like an ending. I mean, I guess I could check it out. I'm scared. That's the visited all rooms. Got the... Drop that, please. Drop it. Burger. I have a burger now. No! No, I finished the game. No! No! Pain! Mother, why did you do this to me? Mother, why? Hi, oh, it's Rillian. Now the unfinished objectives will haunt you. I mean, I think I'm too tired to actually truly care, but that is very painful just because I was so close. But like, I, I legit did not know what to be doing at all beyond that point. And like with everything painted, it's like, you know, it kind of made it harder to kind of see what I needed to do. I kind of figured going in that room would end it. And then I was like, oh, okay, it didn't end it. But then of course, clicking the damn fucking cake did. Which is unfortunate. 
<laughs> There's a palm right there. Look at that. Look at that Pomeranian lady. In here, too. The Pomalisa. How you doing, Trillian? We're only seven, seven subbies away from the sub goal, I believe. And we're like... Uh, I don't know how many, I think 18? 18, 18 followers away from the next goal. Been okay just chilling today. That's fair. Floor cleaning cost. Luxury goods cost. Total amount of damage. 20 million. It's PAW certified. Oh, I can still run around. Why does the kid look the angriest? The dad's just like, my god, my wallet. The mom's like, yeah, my god. And then the son's like, I'm gonna fucking beat the shit out of that dog. <laughs> uh, something appeared in the house. Let's enter the game from the continue menu. Yeah. Continue menu. Reminds me of the Rat Hotel movie. Oh! It's all the items. Got a Halo? A halo on. No, put that the Halo on. Hell yeah! Oh, look at these little sad boys! Got little, little, like, masks, too. And horns? Put the horns and the Halo? Nah, that'd be too cool. That'd be too powerful. Um... Wait, what's the rainbow egg? Oh, so it's an afro. You know what? I'm rainbow throwing it. I'm game with that. There's a picket fence. There's a bunch of glasses. Wait a minute, what's this wig? That's weird. How do I, let me take off the mask. There we go. Oh, it's like a Karen hairstyle? No, I want the fro. I want the star glasses. Hell yeah, look at me looking dapper. Look at that. Um. Also, how painful if this is a housewarming party. And I'm just demolishing everything. Um. But something sharp in the nursery. Does it take something sharp to the nursery? Because there's like this. Hmm. I mean, there's this, but I, I couldn't pick up the knife. I couldn't pick up the knife, but like downstairs, so I didn't think I could pick up the knife in here. My God. The inconsistencies. Okay. We got living room shining palm. Yeah, attack plus 10 because I picked up a knife. It's a movie where these guys are trying to remodel a mansion and they see a rat and keep trying to kill it, but end up destroying the place. Yeah, I think I know what you're talking about. Um, but I don't know the name of what you're referencing. Dad, no, my house, Mom. Oh, dear, honey. Son, you will free when I get my hands on you. Yeah, right. Palm delivery. Okay, let's try to get that one while I have this knife now. Let's go, 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 let's go. Mom's gone again. I don't know why I'm making things dirty by standing on here. I'm a very clean boy, don't you know? Are these like... I got like scrolls. Mom, I'm gonna stab you. I'm gonna stab you, Mom. Acknowledge me. Acknowledge me. Mother. I crave violence, mother! You not understand how threatening I am right now? You not understand how your life is in danger, mother? Look at this. I cut your arm. What you gonna do about it? Hmm? 
Hmm. Okay, anyway. Let me move, please. I get Uh, so we did go up there, so there's still, still three Achievos, right? Yeah, these three. Help me, chat. What's, what are, the, what are these things? What do they mean? I'm gonna have to Google it myself instead of getting the vague answers. Uh, my house is a museum. Uh, let's see. All achievements. Ronko, Wonko. No, not like that kind of achievements, man. Trying to give me like, oh, like your Steam achievements. And it's like, there are none, silly. I'm aware... I don't know. I love that there's, <laughs> there's comments on the forums for this game on Steam. Multiple. I just say, better than Overwatch 2. Better than Overwatch 2. I mean, they're not wrong. They're not wrong. I was a bad doggo for 20 minutes and it felt good. I got the machine gun from the post-game content, finished the game before I could, could get it normally. And I think I accidentally painted the doggo on the nursery wall wrong, and it didn't register, so I couldn't get to the secret room for a second time. Weird. Kitchen's done. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know what. I, I can't find these. I guess. I guess it's just all for naught. What is this? Oh, it's a paintbrush. Now I want my knife. Oh God. Hmm. I guess that's it for this, because I have no idea what to do. And I don't feel like scrounging the internet to find a game that, you know, very few people have actually even played. Find the information for it, so that might be it for the for this particular game. It was fun though. That was a really fun game. It was a really cute game. Would you like me to check Fufu? I mean you can if you want. I mean it seemed like LeQuinn was trying to, but didn't really have specific info that I needed. I'm not sure how much of this I'm going to have to replay, too, just to get to these last couple achievements. So we have my house as a museum for the, for the memory. We have palm delivery in the basement living room. And then we have shining palm in um, the living room. Oh, there's only one text guide. Fair. We don't have to worry about it then if it's gonna do whatever. I'm somehow dirtying downstairs and I'm not even doing anything. Like, I've literally done nothing. It's alright. We can, we can call it there for that. Oh, that's not the screen I meant to do. We can go to this one. That was a fun game, though. That was pretty cute. If I would at least get an Achievo, like one Achievo for getting all the things, I'd be like, yeah, I definitely want to try to do that. But I managed to turn a game that people are claiming to be done in like 20 minutes into like an hour and 12 minutes of content. So, you know, fair enough. I can, I can, uh, I can deal with that. Um, let's see. Hmm. What do we want to do from now? There is some part of me that is like, yeah, I just kind of want to sleep, not gonna lie. Even though I know for a fact me going to sleep, quote unquote, is essentially me just like attempting to sleep for a second and then being like, no, I can't actually sleep. But, um, hmm. Let's see. 
Anything you guys want to see, chat? Or should I should I catch some Z's? Even though it's not even like at a two hour stream, I feel bad about that if I ended it now. Um Let me actually fix this real quick. It didn't sync my uh my cloud for some reason on plate up. Let's see. I might I might actually like um edit down that game and make a short little video for um for YouTube since I haven't uploaded on my main channel in a while. Um, I should do that for um for the horror game we played the other day too. For our examinum, examinum, examinum. I should do it for that as well. We hmm, it's up to you, Fufu, if you want to get some Z's and do the honk, chew me me me's, uh, or play a game. I'm okay with anything. I just know that like right now. I am so tired. I think I also wouldn't have been as tired if it wasn't for the fact that I also like played for like three or four hours with Foxy and Rain beforehand. I ended up joining them because they had um Rain had wanted to play um played up. And so me and Foxy joined them and we played for a while. And I, I, I am honestly surprised that, that game takes more energy out of me than like than like playing Hunt. I don't know. I think his hunt has like those hits of adrenaline to it, right? So every single time, um, every single time, like, uh, I, I'm like, okay, you know, I'm actually kind of getting a little bit tired. Some crazy play happens. I get like some cool kills or some crazy fight happens. And then I'm like back into the energy, but just kind of like played up is just like chaos and you're just doing so much, but like so little at the same time, if that makes sense. Like you're you're panicking and running around, but the game is so chill and mellow that you also zone out, and so it's like exhausting because your brain's trying to do so much, but at the same time you're also not like doing any type of crazy stimulation or adrenaline. So your brain's just kind of like, eh. and so between like sleeping only a little bit and that, because I slept like three hours maybe, and then I couldn't get back to sleep, um, after helping out with something, and then. I took like a little bit of a nap, but I kept waking up because I was like afraid that I was going to miss um, played up. And so I kind of kept waking up, even though I had an alarm set. And then when the alarm went off, I was just like, man, I was like, there was a there was a there was a demon in my head that said, yo, let's 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 quit. But I, I don't want to be I don't want to be you know doing that. I don't want to do that. I don't want to be calling out on that. So I was like, let's go. So I power through. It was fun. It was fun. But. Holy shit, did it melt my brain. Um, I could probably keep going for a bit, but I have no idea what I want to do. I think I want to at least go for, like, at least 30 more minutes, I think. Um, but I don't know what I want to do. We could check out Predecessor, but I hear, like, the issue with Predecessor is not the game itself, but apparently the community is incredibly fucking toxic already. And the game's been in open, like, availability for, like, a day. <laughs> and I'm like, I don't know about that. I don't know about, I don't know about suffering like that. Um, I know I don't have it in me to play, like, Liza P or Persona or anything like that right now. My brain is, like, way too, uh, meat blendered for that. Um, V Rising would be too chill. Warframe... I don't know, I can mess her. I, I, I could just chat, I guess, for a bit and play it. I had just been lurking and saw my name scroll by. Yeah. He was summoned by the power of rain in anime. Um, we, I guess I could put some Warframe on and just kind of chill and chat for a bit. And then maybe like in 30, 40 minutes or so, just kind of like tap out, I guess. End it a little bit early. Just because I am like, I, I know that like, I'm not gonna end up like falling asleep. I know that much. Like I'm in that I'm at that point where I think I've stayed up long enough that I wouldn't fall asleep the moment I hit the pillow. So in reality, it's gonna be like me just kind of vegging on the couch for like an hour and then finally being like, okay, now I can pass out. Is probably what it's gonna be, and then I'll end up spending tomorrow getting those two videos set up and having one come out like this week and then have another one come out next week. So I can be lazy. But uh, let's see. Mm. 
Oh yeah, I just saw the <laughs> I just saw the streak thing again. I was like I was like, what? The song slaps? What song? This song? How did you know about this song? I just started playing it. I'm like, I'm being dumb. Don't worry, don't don't mind me. Um hear my tablet getting emails behind me. Uh let's see. Let's make this windowed, I guess, and make it smaller resolution it's a good resolution for this monitor that's not a good resolution for this monitor nope not what i wanted can i manually edit the size of the monitor oh i can okay cool and that they don't sleep wait what <laughs> Because everyone mentioned he was playing with you and Fox early. Yes. Oh, yes, 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 yes. Yes. This is the wrong thing. Hey, I tried to sleep. I genuinely tried to sleep. All right. I think I think we're good there. And then I need to just put the game audio. We can we can then we can switch the game game title over. I guess. I guess. Um, switch it over to Warframe. Yeah, I'm, I'm literally going to just stream title. is going to be, uh, as we switch over the game. Okay. And then I need, I need, I need like more of my like usual music. My brain, my brain can't right now. Let's, uh, termite droppings. Let's go. Let's do this. At least you will not be dead. And then we'll let autoplay do do its work. But yeah, I got Dante, guys. I got I got Dante. Also, it's cutting it off slightly, I guess. Yeah, it is a little bit. Let me let me. Wow. A weird res. This is a really weird resolution. We could do it like that, I guess. And like, I don't know. We could do this. I'm too. I'm way too tired and lazy to be like, yeah. There you go. Looks cool. Thank you. They updated the game with um, like a new um, like graphics thing. Like they added like new lighting and shading, and so like this looks really cool. I came on the ship immediately and I was like, it's so dark in here, and that's because they they put more of a focus on the like the other lights on the actual ship because before it was just pretty bright in here but now it's actually got like all this like light cascading in from the outside which is pretty cool um all this really nice lighting pretty cool i dig it i got i got them pretty good i've been like i've been kind of like trying to min max them a bit and try to like figure out exactly like what's the best way to build them because there's like a lot of ways that you could build this guy um like this is this is my overkill one. This is the one where I have like three hundred and twenty three percent strength, which is insane and completely irrelevant and unnecessary. Um, but then under like the balance one I have here, it's a little bit more like everything's at least above a hundred percent. But like this will just like erase everything, and that's kind of like the funny thing. But this one lets you spam more, so I'm kind of thinking that like potentially the fact that I can actually cast more instances of my spells with this makes it better. Just because even if this has a higher damage scaling, if I'm able to get off three consecutive ones with this that equate to more than one instance of this, it could be more. Because, like, if everything's dead, I don't think it really matters. <laughs> Either way, it's like it doesn't really matter much. And it's like a necessity that you put, like, casting speed on it. Because, like, he's... You want to be able to spam as much as possible. But he just... He's hungry. He's a big boy. He likes eating a... Uh, as much energy as possible. I can go into an arbitration here with some randos and see do some more testing because I just adjusted things before I ended uh, playing last night. Okay, All right, where are we? For this arbitration, we upon you um, mortality. Auto hack. That's nice. Life support has been cut off. Let me out of here. They're trying to choke you out. Ah, oh, I gotta go this way. The only downside about arbitration, those things that make it, uh, things invulnerable.
Are these all protected? Oh, they are. They're all being protected by that thing. Okay, that works. You guys aren't, though. Hilarious. This is the only reason I don't like arbitrations is these things, man. I just want to nuke. But now you got, like, enemies running around, like, being invulnerable to things. Let's stop having defenses. This is, yeah, this guy's pretty cool because he has, like, um... He has a bunch of abilities because it's basically, um... You have these two abilities, Light Verse here and then Dark Verse. And you basically, depending on the sequence that you do them in, causes a different ability. So, like, Dark, Dark causes this. Just a big nuke. And then Dark, Light. Summons these bird things that go around damaging things. Um, light, Light is temporary health. And then Light, Dark summons a copy of your book that helps uh, deal damage, and it summons it to allies too, I believe. So, pretty cool. Can't really see what's happening right now, but yeah. Stop running from me. Yeah, this isn't a good test for this build just because of the um, invulnerability things, but like, there it is again, you know? There's two of them right there. The FOV is kind of weird because I, uh, I have a weird resolution going right now instead of my full aspect ratio. And it's like making it so that like I'm kind of closer to my shoulder than I think I am usually. It's messing with me. But this, uh, this, this ability of mine, it detonates damage over time. Like, I think it's, like, the full instance of the damage over time as a burst. Um, and then has, like, a multiplier on top of it, I believe. Um, which makes me wonder if, like, you're in really high content where you start having, like, enemies that are hundreds of levels high. If you have, like, a Saren and you also have, like, a, um, like, uh, whatchamacallit ember or something like that that does like lots of dots or whatever or uh garuda who could apply more like slash brocks and stuff i wonder if um that'll just make me that much stronger i assume so i assume so aim no not today I'm so close in my shoulder with this resolution. It's like messing with my aim. Being this close to my uh, my frame. It's weird. Yeah, like it's it's killing. It is indeed killing still. Even without being at like the highest possible damage I could be at, it is indeed doing the killing. How level are you guys? I'm only like 60s though, but still though, it's uh, slash brocks. Fumi kissed my grandmother while filling the turkey with pennies. You damn right I did. That is, that is my favorite pastime right there. Specifically that. I've delivered another life support capsule. Oh, I was about to say these guys are unprotected, but they were protected.
I don't know why I clicked this. We have full whatever, but it's okay. Oh, right. This isn't my strength build, so I, I like cap at like 35,000 uh, overguard. My my more powerful one, I think, goes up to 50k overguard, which is a lot, especially because like, I don't know, to, ha to have... I'm like trying to think logistically here, like to have 20,000 less, right, is, is typically, that would typically be perceived as being something that's weaker. However, because of the amount of energy the other one takes up, I may not be able to reliably keep up the buff. And therefore this one that's more energy efficient would be able to keep myself more consistently at the cap, so... Probably smarter to do this. It's almost not. It's very rare to actually like for it to be the smart thing to go into negatives, but certain warframes can pull it off, like Gauss or Nova. Uh, hey, look at that streak! Five day streak. Let's go. Uh, I got some tuna salad calling my name. Once I get done jumping my brother off, dropping your brother off. Hope you're not jumping your brother. Like what the fuck? Stop killing them. Beating them up. Is there a... Oh, my headphones are dying. I was tired. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm tired as hell. Tired as well. Big time. Oh, like jumping his battery. I thought you meant like dropping them off or something. And I was like, that, I've never heard somebody use the term jumping. For the sake of, like, dropping them off. Jumping a battery, though, yeah, that makes sense. That possibility doesn't occur to me as someone who doesn't drive. Oh, this, this nuking is so good. Even when it doesn't work, it works. I think I almost want another... I wonder how much better it would be if I put another yellow on. Let's work from another uh, yellow Archon. And make his animations even faster. Because I can, I can be pretty quick with the inputs. Like, I clicked about seven times right there. So if I can make it go as... A little bit quicker to me so that I can only get four inputs in. That means more casts, right? I need to the snack. I'll grab a snack in a second because I do not actually have something right now. I drew it though, I can do that right now. Nice! <laughs> thank you. Thank you, thank you. As I kept spell casting with one hand. <laughs> oh my god. I'll get a snack though in a second. I got some chips and stuff that I can uh and snag. I found something pretty cool too with this Warframe. So usually when you designate an energy color, it's just kind of like the color of all of their abilities. But with Dante, if you have form of them, um, you can actually... Hey kids, wanna see a dead body? Yes, yes I do. Um, you can actually color these things, like the strokes and stuff that he does, right? But then when you actually cast the ability, it changes the color, right? So, like, I found that out because I changed, like, the second color at one point to red. And so this would be blue. And then the moment I do this, everything's red. Which is kind of cool. But I kind of wish that instead it worked hey, that light... That light verse could be one color and dark verse could be a different color. And then any damaging abilities would be one color and then the other one would be the opposite. Thank you for the head pets, Kyoko. And then also... <laughs> I of City. Um, I think that would be pretty, pretty cool if it worked like that, but, alright. Uh, you need to get out of here. Actually, out of energy. Talk about energy efficiency, but I haven't been maintaining it well. Fuck you, that's how. Because no, fuck you, stop. that's how, exactly. What are you doing? 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 Are those a little bit better volume now? I turned them down a bit. 
Just because I know some people were getting like jump scared by some of them, so to kind of balance it, but I'm hoping you guys can still like hear it. I could go in and like manually, I think, change the volume of some of them or just get rid of the really loud ones. Because it is pretty, you know, when I'm having like a low energy stream or something and then suddenly out of nowhere, you got, look at all you know, coming up in there, you get pretty loud. The jump scare is the best part. Yeah, make sure is that everyone's um, still alive. That you're not, you know, watching me while you're sleeping. Who ordered all this fucking anime titty? Yeah, like, that wasn't too bad. Usually when that goes off, that is, like, the biggest jump scare possible. How the hell do I get out of here? Smash. Not that way. This way. Will I make it in time? Yeah, I should have plenty of time. If I don't miss my jump like that. I'm coming! I love that. Very nice, okay. Another job. As I cast every single spell. And these people are probably like, God. Motherfucker, what? <laughs> Spend so much time already. I have like four formas in this man already. I have literally like, <laughs> like quote unquote, prestiged him four times. Like, I was ready. I had like 30, uh, 30 formas prepared to like decide like how I was going to build him. Uh, a double affinity weekend? Or why? And to celebrate the. Uh, update the only thing i don't like about this update is they have it so that um the new evolving weapons um to upgrade the stages through them you have to specifically do the newest form of content which is like that's fine i guess i'm still going to end up doing that content but the fact that like i spent so much time leveling dante Smash. and getting him up right just for me to make no progress on that weapon during that time frame is kind of painful. Pretty, it's pretty annoying. Um, is Katir here? I don't think so. I don't see his little thing. I also didn't get a notification saying that Katir is here. Unfortunate. Um, I could actually, I could actually go see if I have things to sell though, and I can give a, I can give a busy relay some buffs, I guess. Be a be a proper legendary player and give everybody an affinity booster or something. I've been bad and not uh, using my buff when I can. Which I really need to do more. Ah, I got caught on the wall. Ah, uh, yeah, let's do the buff first. Everybody can have an affinity booster. You're welcome, everyone. Yeah, look at all them thank yous. Everybody's saying thank you. And then my Warframe takes over the statue there. And now everyone gets to look at my, my, my Warframe. Um, I do have things to sell. Let's go. I know I should be checking if these have any value on Warframe market, but... I like to try to make sure I have some ducats in my pocket here and there. Um... What is the cooldown on this, by the way? Is it 24 hours or is it 21 hours? 23 hours. Why 23? Weird. Just do 20 or 20, 24. Um, let me think. Uh, let's go over here. Is it you? No, it's not you. Is it you? It's not you either. No, I must have been clicking the same person. Yeah, there we go. You survive. I have 90 Vitus Essence. Um... I guess I could, yeah, I'll get this thing, These this thing, These honors were well earned. um, let's just get these cosmetic things out of the way, these yep, 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 and then we'll get one of these mods, I don't care which, actually, Vigorous Swap is actually kind of okay, 
And then I'll get the last three of these. I'll get the skins. And then I don't really need anything else. Well, I need this. And this, I guess. Yeah, I guess that's about it. Thank you. Okay. Play with Anna, dream with Anna. Yeah, see, so like, this says specifically I have to get headshots on scathing and mocking whispers in Alberic's laboratories with primary fire without reloading. So I have to get five consecutive headshots on... I'm assuming it's, it can be done on the same one, which I'm not even sure what the hell a scathing or mocking whisper is. But, uh, yeah. So it's kind of like, I don't know, man. Oh, yeah, and then with the Noctua, too. About the build thing. I got, like, a DPS one here. Which makes it pretty good. Um, This one's a meme. It just has all the buffs on, on the book. Which I, 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 don't, I don't know if that would ever be viable, but, um, you know, maybe. Maybe somewhere. Um, okay, uh, let's see. What can we do? Where's my standing at for today? I've actually reached cap. Let's see if I can. Just for you. Thanks, dude. Um, one of these emotes. Let's see. What's this one? Uh, area formal bow. What am I doing here? Like stroking my chin. Oh, I'm doing like a. Salute, maybe? I don't know what that is. I'll buy this one. Actually, how much is a stencil? Stencil is worth more than I have. Alright, I'll get this for now. I'm trying to buy everything out. And I was so close to buying everything out. And then with this last update, they released some new mods. So now I have to like earn back points in this factions to get the new mods. Because they added some for Citrine. Uh, they added some for Excalibur Umbra, believe it or not. Um, and then Lavos, Loki, and I think there was... Someone else was in there too. I think it was Styanax, I think, maybe? That might be what's on New Loka, actually. These offerings are pure. Calervo, Lavos, Ureli, and I think there was also Styanax, but I already bought that one. Um, Wrathful Advance moves the Storm of Daggers to the teleportation location and increases its duration by 6 seconds. Who actually uses the daggers, though? That's the thing. Like, that's actually, it might make it viable, though, because the, the biggest issue that a lot of people have with using Kalevo's ultimate is that it's just a bunch of knives <laughs> in a stagnant place. Thank you for the follow, Scarlet. Welcome in. Um, it, it It's just a bunch of stagnant knives, which in Warframe, like, if we go back to the beginning of Warframe, it was really, really good because a lot of the game was, like, defense and stuff, and it was all zone control. You want the enemies to come to you. You want to control the area. But nowadays, you're trying to zoom and get around and jump around and get everywhere, right? So having a stationary ultimate like Calero has is not great. But this might actually make it viable because you're going to be using Wrathful Advance basically, like, constantly. And so you'd be able to, like, build, like, maybe 130, 150% efficiency, activate the ultimate, have, have a decent duration, too, as it is, and then just kind of just keep teleporting. It might actually be good. Because then you just deal passive damage in an AoE around you. I don't know. It could it could be good. I'll buy it either way because I'm buying everything, but Yeah. I mean I might have to lab that and see what's up, but not right now. Um That hasn't reset yet, resets in a day. I don't care about the sortie anymore. Um Um, let's see. What is the one event left? Oh, there's another gift of the Lotus. Operation. The Dex Docker. Have I leveled the Dex Docker? Me too. I feel like I've had to, or is it new? Because I think they added some new Dex weapons, right? Like they're not like ones that are recurring from past events. I think there's actually some new things, I believe. I think. I can check when I get in here. It was Dex Dacker, I believe. Wiggle wiggle. 
we can double check and see. Host connection lost. Actually, that's perfect then. I could check before we go back into the mission. That is fine. Alright, have I leveled that? Uh, Dex, 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 Dex. I guess... Dex Stalker. So I have. So I don't even need them. But... If I'm being smart, it's a free weapon, and a free weapon means that I could sell it, and selling it just means money. So, and it's a level 10 mission that should take like two seconds, so. It should be no problem, really. It's just, you know, not a gain as far as mastery is concerned, but it's a gain as far as, you know, getting something out of it, I guess. I do wish that, like, there was something more that you could do with duplicate weapons. Food check? I had a little bit of food during the other stream, so that was probably like four hours ago, but I definitely need to eat something more substantial um, because I, I literally had like a little microwave dinner thing that held me over for the remainder of that stream, but the effect is definitely wearing off. I need to actually get like an actual meal in me. Been compromised. Um, Bend the cargo until reinforcements arrive. Oh, yes, we're, uh, let's see, let's go this way, right? Oh, this is basically just a COD, right? But like super low level. Fair enough. Wow, the range on this? How high I have the range? It's hitting my teammates all the way still at the start. Okay, yeah, I have I have a decent amount of range on there for sure. Oh, someone's just killing everything on site. I won't even need to do anything. I still will, though. Cool. So who do we have? We have Gauss, Revenant, and Wukong. So it's probably actually Gauss that killed everything. He probably used his, uh... He's probably using, like, max range, uh... Thermal Sunder. Probably. Is my guess. I think the craziest thing about the this Noctua is the fact that it does really high damage, but it also, like, it fragments the shots. So if you, like, hit a target or something, it breaks into shots and, like, auto-aims at targets behind it. And so you can hit one, like, you can hit one target and it hits multiple. Like, if I successfully hit one of these things, if I can actually hit one of these tiny-ass things, it would do that. Okay. All right, that, that cleared that up. The only thing I don't like about this Noctua thing is this charge attack. Because it's literally like a small rectangle. And I don't like that it's like small. Because there's, there's other weapons that can do a lot more substantial AoEs like that. But I guess, you know, for an Exalted, I mean, that's kind of okay, I guess. There's interesting things you could do, because you could end up turning the Noctua into your your means of doing AoE, and then instead bring two weapons that are all about single target. Is a possibility? Kieran, welcome in, welcome in Raiders. Hello, hello. How is everyone doing? You were playing some Vanishers, weren't you? Get raided, idiot. Damn. You got me. Welcome in, welcome in. And that triggered a hype train, apparently. Okay, welcome in, welcome in. How's everyone doing? I'm sure Kieran, you were probably gonna immediately dip and get some of that sleep. But I appreciate it. Such a good game, huh? I gotta sleep on. I'm exhausted. Yeah, I called it. I called it. <laughs> Have a good night, Kieran. Thank you again. As always, let's go hype train, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's always funny to me when hype trains get triggered from like raids and stuff. I wonder if they can get triggered too from follows. Is that possible? If you get like 10 follows suddenly, would that trigger a hype train? Or would it only be raids and like subs and bits? I'm actually not sure about that. I've never seen a hype train start from follows, so I'm not sure. How is Dante handling for you? Absolutely cracked busted and I love it. He's absolutely insane. Like, 
no joke, this man can do like any content you want. I have no energy at the moment though, so that's unfortunate, but boom. Does he live up to the title of Dante the Ball Crusher? Yeah, I mean he, he he's more the ball slasher than the ball crusher. But um He he, he do be wrecking balls, that's for sure. Um gonna be catching up on Warframe over the over three day weekend. I need to stop being behind. You you're literally fine, Kira. You're trying to catch up to people who have been playing this game for years. You have me who is like sweaty McSweaty crunching numbers and having spreadsheets. And then you have both Rain and, and Garrett who have played this for a bit. Like for, for years. So it's like... You have plenty of time to catch up. If anything, I guess the, the best goal would be catching up in the story. Because then you'd have access to everything, I guess. Maybe? I guess would be a good point of catching up. But the the other otherwise it's pretty daunting task. Uh, hey, how how you doing, Armorous? I don't know why my brain took a second there to process Hello Fumi. Story stuff is what you mean. Okay, okay, yeah, then fair enough, fair enough. Yeah, then you'll have access to everything. Um, funny thing is, is that I fall under the second category. I've been playing on and off since 2018. I've been playing since. Not fully on this account, because I did play on PlayStation, and I did also have a different Steam account for a bit. But I think I've been playing since launch, I think? Um, I just didn't play much when the game was in launch, because I didn't actually vibe with it too much super early on. Um, and it wasn't until... I forget what frame came out that I started really messing with the game. And I've kind of come come back and forth ever since then. It's always been kind of like a a game I come back to. Um, it's it's my it's my kind of turn off my brain game. Like I do I do try to math things out. I do try to like learn things on my own. Um, but it's ultimately very relaxing because there's no competition. I'm not sitting here competing with the game. I'm not here competing with other people. I can kind of just you know make my funny little hee hee ha ha builds and. Whatever. Plus, like, it's cool because I can make I can make meme builds, right? There's not many games out there that you can make a build and like it really be like you know changing the con the, the character itself. There's very few of those. The only other one that I like I I've played that's allowed me to have that versatility is um Path of Exile. Unlock the spoiler ship and ranked up with them once already. Working on ranking up again. Oh, the spoiler ship. I was like, what are you talking about? I'm like, oh, you mean um, that content. Um, it's only recently I've been trying to get my MMR up, sitting at 19 right now. I, that's something I've been noticing a lot, too, is a lot of people um, putting off their MR. Which, I mean, once you reach what? What is the, what is the, the highest master rank weapon? 12? 14? Something like that? But like, once you reach that point, it's kind of like... You don't need to go beyond there, but I, I personally like, I, I like doing it on them. For sure, for sure. The tenant weapons are IMR 16. Oh, okay, okay, I didn't take them into account. Fair enough. I think it was 14 before, and then the tenant weapons are, you know, higher now. And ribbons cap at 16 too. Okay, okay. It was really fun in Destiny when they let us, and now I'm doing it here again. My Varuna finally has the correct arcanes, just need to level them. So much grinding. Yeah, I need to get um, a maxed out Arcane Energize, but um, I'm really lazy, so I might actually... Because the only way to do it, I think, is during certain rotations of one piece of content, and the other one is doing Eidolon Hunts. And I probably hate Eidolon Hunts more than most of the other open world content in the entire game. So I'm kind of like really pushing that off. I'd rather fight the Exploiter Orb than fight Eidolons, to be fair. Um... And so, like, I'm probably just going to end up grinding money and getting a bunch of platinum and then just buying off of somebody a maxed out Arcane Energize, which is about... Last I checked, it was about 1,200 plat. And I, I had that a little bit ago, but then I bought everything that came with this update, so I got to earn it all back again. Because I had, I had, like, a, oh, Arbitration Reset. Perfect. 
Um, I had, um, I think I had like 3k, I think. And then I just went on a spending spree, and now I'm down to like 100. Grinding for arcane blessings and got a molted augment. Uh, Molt augmented is really good. I have that on Dante right now. Uh, never done a profit taker or exploiter, but killed plenty of Eidolons. Yeah, I just, when I, when Eidolons came out, I was still kind of in that like very infancy stage where I didn't really have good builds. I was still kind of like really bad at building and my warframes are kind of weak. And so all I did was die. And so that put a bad taste in my mouth to begin with. And then once I had the ability to actually kill Eidolons and I actually knew what I was doing, by that point, it was like no one was really doing the content as much at that point. Um, and then now I'm just like, I don't know. I just, it's uninteresting to me. It's either the most brain dead thing or whatever. It's just like, eh. Accursed adds, yeah. It do be like that. I'm sorry. I have one long ad block every hour. I don't mind Eidolons, but I'm gonna kill myself at Profit Taker. I mean, yeah, I don't know. I just don't like Eidolons. I think, for one, having to restrict it to a specific time of day is ass. And then on top of that, having limited time, sometimes things time out. And then I think mechanically it's very boring, personally. Hey, thank you for the subby and also freedom from f further ads. Thank you, thank you. Yeah, that's the best part, honestly, of subbing to people is just like the ad free. Like, yeah, it's like, oh, you get to support them or whatever, but like, man, does it suck to watch somebody and get ads. And some people I watch have like, they have like five minutes of ads. And so you're just sitting there for like 15 consecutive ads and it's pain. Not even the Kami Hifumi is safe from the godly power of ads. Nope. Not one bit. That's annoying. Wish I could select the world at a set time. Yeah. It is very much pain. The one thing I am happy for is that Voxelaris grind is slightly less bad. Oh yeah, it's a lot less bad. Planes of Eidolon is a uh, a bit dated in its design, but go figure, it's the very first of them. Um, granted, I think as an area, I dislike Fortuna more than uh, Ancidas, but oh, that's an ally. E. Glad there's no friendly fire. The thing that has surprised me the most is how much Venus changed after a spoiler happened. But yeah, that's true. I mean, it's also like um, a lot of the levels have also changed drastically just because of the graphical changes. Like this tile, go back like however many years it's been, five years, four years, did not look like this. So it's really, it's really interesting watching this game evolve either because of plot reasons or because of tech reasons. Yeah, I need more spell speed. I need even more. I need to get to at least 60%, I think. I think I just need another, um, Cal Forge, Yellow. And I'll be happy. And then I'll, I'll use the last one to be red or something like that. I don't know. Um... I wish we could have kept Neon Fortuna. Yeah, that would have been really nice. That would have been really, really nice. It looked a lot better. Um, or at least get the choice. Since a lot of the game is local anyways, like, aesthetically. Um, I both like and dislike it. Outside it looks better thought. Inside I hate it because it changed so much. The navigation is a pain. Yeah. Yeah. I still think my least favorite place to navigate, though, is, um... I, you know, Venus is pretty bad, but I think I think Lua gives me the most PTSD. Yeah, and there's also a lot of good frames that can also help to, uh... lower the tasking as well. Um, Mag, Roma, Volt. 
if I got a team together that all of us brought like proper idol on hunting, then I probably would like hunting stuff and we just grind it out, all that stuff in one day. I'd feel happy, but doing stuff with randoms is annoying and doing it solo is even more annoying. Lua is horrible with its tight little quarters. Yeah, it's it's it makes like like the 3D navigation so much more uh, annoying. Let's go. Keep going, guys. Let's go. Let's go. Oh, there's that one of those dudes. Can I hurt him with this? Nah, go figure. Imagine. Um, I'm only doing it for the reps, stupid idol on shards. Yeah. There's some things that require them too, I believe, isn't there? Oop, what happened there? I don't know why I got thrown. Oh, right, this is a moving defense target, right? I forgot about that. I was wondering why everyone was being so mobile, right? I'm sitting here, like, defending it like it's a normal point. Like it's stuck on things. It's not. Um. Oh, yeah, the, those. I need Ido shards, too. Also, stupid spoiler feather. Stop giving me the better ones. I need the small ones first. Yeah, that I, I've had a lot of instances of that, too, where, like, I have, I have a, a bunch of, like, um, of thorns, and then, like... Or or the better or better ones, and then suddenly it's like, ha ha ha! But like to rank up, you need the second stage, and I'm like, I haven't seen one of those in like an like hours. I hit things now. Oh, I looked away at the from the screen and just ran into a wall. Great use of my operator energy. Watching a Star Wars Battle Front 2 speedrun, 2005 version, and damn, I didn't even know you could speedrun this game. You can speedrun most things if you find the right ways. Unless a game hard locks you to pacing, you basically can do that for anything. People will find a way. And even if it's not traditional speedrunning, they'll still be like, well, technically I beat it faster than others, and so they'll go for, like, records of how quickly you could just beat it rather than being, like, trying to find, like, a 10-minute speedrun. On the bright side, I can finally start grinding for Varuna. Wolf Mommy. I may have made my drifter look like the clone commander. That's fair. Mine is completely armored head to toe. You can't even see her face to begin with. And my operator, you know, is fully dressed right now too, so, so you know. Sadly, no giant minigun. That's fair. Hello, Stone. How you doing? Stone with a mustache. I love that name. That is an amazing name. Doing good, I'm glad to hear. Um, Harrier armor in Jorah. Yeah, it looks really good. Very, uh, very cyberpunk, you know? Very, very cyberpunk. But the Sirico is still fun. It's alright. Why do we still have an enemy on the screen even though we went to the next match? I don't know. I'm gonna step back in my energy field here. Um, you cop the 2024 Tenocon pack? I have not. I haven't bought one of those in like two years, two or three years. I, I, I can't honestly right now, that's a thing. 
Even if I wanted to. I completed New War yesterday. That's awesome. I love the New War so much. That's such a great storyline. Probably like the strongest point of this storyline. Although I have enjoyed uh, the current stuff. Just because I'm big Eldritchy enjoyer. And anytime we start talking about the Void and... The man who shall not be named. Um, it um, is very Eldritchy. Let's see what's up here. Got the round? Yep. Your potential blossoms. Continue the arbitration. Don't they like kind of gives like slight um yeah okay well, i can call it here um it kind of gives slight um anaris vibes with the color palette i gave him damn his name was one guy's name was like arouse her yeah the fuck 16 quills no downs no veins why does this game do these things to me i don't know i wish that there was a convert system for a lot of it like if you're sitting there with 50 quills right and you need like a down that it would be a lot easier to just be like all right for every two quills you get one one thing i mean the the kind of is kind of but not like a true one it's the same with deimos right deimos has a similar like you technically can convert things but like it's by no means the same as like doing it directly yeah it, 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 the systems exist in the slightest form, but not in the way that I'm talking about. Not a true, like, one-for-one -one trade system of any kind, up or down. Which, to be fair, it wouldn't be get grind frame if it gave you the option to do that. To be fair. It would be very un-warframe. Mm -mm 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 I'll switch off Dante for a little bit. Hey, Squidster, how you doing? Hello, hello. How you doing? Tis grind frame for a reason, absolutely. And honestly, I don't know if I'd have it any other way, because personally, I enjoy it. Do I do this just because I'm like, fuck it? I don't know. I don't know what I want to do. Mm, yeah, I don't really care about that. Invasions, I don't care about either. Um, Operator, do you know which mm. the is used to is interesting. The aesthetic fits Veruna color palette well. Also, Otak is fun, and also like mining. Yeah, my I always enjoyed fishing and mining. Uh, okay, we fall. Wait, uh, it should be Warframe. It wouldn't be Warframe if it didn't need you grabbing Argon every fucking day. Dude, I hate Argon. I don't know why. Who thought? Okay, there's there's two resources in this game that I actually genuinely hate. The first is Argon. It's really easy to grind it. I can go and grind like 40 in like a couple minutes, right? It's really freaking easy to do it. But then they decay, right? And so by the time you need it again, you don't have any and you have to do it again. That's annoying. The second one is Cryotic. I hate Cryotic. I hate Excavation. Anytime I have to do excavation for like an arbitration or like a, or for content or unlocking, I'm just so mad. And right now, like I haven't actually really done Steel Path much. And I think I have like a couple like excavations lined up right now. And I'm just like, dude, I, I just can't. I have an Archwing mission. I have, you know, a, sp a spy is fine. Excavation here. It's like, oh, I don't want to. I really do not want to do, do it. But I need to, I need to finish the uh, Steel Path Star Chart because I pushed it off like for so long. 30k cryotic for cyber yeah it that that was painful and i know for a fact like right now i'm comfy because luckily everything that i need i'm legendary three right so i have like almost everything in the game but like the stuff that's left luckily for me none of it requires anything too bad i just have a couple tenant weapons i have one more kuva weapon this is this is painful too the the lich system of having to Sit there and kind of fish for the RNG of finding the weapon is the most annoying thing. It should just give me it after a point. Like, it's so annoying. I hate that so much. That system of like, oh, you got to go kill the, you got to go kill the, um, the thrall, right? And then it's like, oh, but like, did you get the weapon you want? Nope. Okay. Either leave mission or go somewhere else. 
it's so it's so annoying and i could like trade i guess i could catch a lich and trade with somebody using the um the thing in the dojo but like i don't know man and then i gotta i gotta deal with all that i don't like dealing with people if i don't have to um and it's just like i don't know and then i have a lot of k drive stuff like i haven't leveled like any of my k drives look at that not a one i gotta finish my bone widow as well because i keep pushing that off but i have i have all my companions i have all my robotics i have I uh, had almost all my melee, but I need to get the Tenet and the Ferox, Wraith, three weapons I'm missing here, I don't even know what they are, the Detron, Brack, and Seer, so those are the ones that are a little bit more annoying to get. I have all the primaries, all the Warframes, I have some amps I need to get, which is stuff that I have to get from Little Duck. Arch melee, I'm almost done with that. I should I should actually go do the Archwing mission and maybe I'll get like a little bit of VXP. While I still have my booster, because I think I have three boosters right now, right? I have my booster, I have my blessing, and I have the event affinity booster. So actually right now would be a good time to do either Railjack or do that Archwing mission. What was the... What was the Archwing mission, by the way? X-Term? Nah. Fine. I did one and no more. Mine likes to show up every other mission, not giving me any time to get murmurs. Yeah, that's annoying too. And then if you don't have the things, sometimes they level up and yeah. Like the Necromech being a turret is pretty fun. Yeah, the 777 is up basically. Let me guess you grabbed Gauss Prime a while ago. Yeah, I have, I have, yeah, I have Gauss. Yeah. The art of combat must be practiced. To uh, the I hate Archwing too. I hate Archwing missions just because they're claustrophobic as hell. Right, let me try to get kills with the weapon here. As slow as that's gonna be. My gun could kill them really quickly, but I need the as much EXP to just go to this weapon. Like whoever thought I wanna have a flying around mission with incredibly fast things and also have like the most claustrophobic levels. All hate it. They should have all already been like open format, open areas. When it said they just kind of increase the size of the hallways from normal missions, it just said, there you go. Pain. Uh, I won't lie. I do invest in the Prime Access just so when I drop the game for a bit, I'll still have boosters going. I mean, no, that's, that's valid. That's, I've done that before too. Especially when I hear... like how cracked something is and I just don't feel like waiting. Um, especially like, I, I will buy platinum here and there. Um, usually only when I see like a sale or something. Um, but like Prime Access is definitely one where it's like, okay, I get platinum and also I get the, the new Warframe. So there are times when I'll, oh my God, I'm going so far. Um, where I'll actually end up doing that. I'm stuck. Oh, I got like two levels so far. That's actually that's actually not bad. Gonna make sure all my affinity goes to this weapon and not to anything else. There's a, heavy unit approaching. There's a guy like underneath there for some reason. Hey buddy. Oh, you're an Eximus. Kinda tanky. I might I might ignore you. I'm just gonna ignore you. Goodbye. My sword is not prepared for that. Especially not this crappy ass sword too. Okay, cool. I enjoyed Rail Railjack more than I thought. I love Railjack personally. Um, it was just painful when it came out because it was so bug ridden. I remember there was one run. So like before you you were um, you had to go back to the dojo to basically save any of the progress that you had gotten, right? But like me and a group were like really vibing, and we didn't want to go back to the dojo. And so we literally did like four runs, four consecutive runs. And then we got stuck in an infinite loading screen. And the only way to resolve it was to leave the game. And so we, we lost all of the mission progress from a boarding mission. And all of us literally wanted to cry. We sat there for like 20 minutes, like coping that like it'll eventually, the issue will eventually fix itself. We really were hoping it did. And at that point I didn't do Railjack until they fixed that bug. But now you can kind of like leave in between missions. You don't have to go back to the dojo or anything. So that's really nice. 
the next miss again. Gonna do that. Not dealing with that. I don't know why I'm suddenly here. Hello, where am I? The range on my blade just pulls me outside sometimes. I think I'm just look at that. I go so far. Wildly swinging. I like the accessories from time to time too. Prime drip. Yeah, some of them are cool. Some of them are a bit disappointing. Like Hildren's Hildren's like jetpack thing that she came with. Really fucking cool. I really like that one. That one's really nifty. Alright, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna stop shoot stop. You're a little, a little durable one. I mean, I guess it is also <laughs> Steel Path, but... Steel Path with this really, really bad weapon. Rendell's Oni Ephemera is nice. Yeah, that one's good too. There's some, there's some really good ones, and then some of them are kind of like, eh... Like, it's mostly the really old frames that kind of don't really have a Stay focused. The most worthwhile things. Okay, I'm just going to shoot that thing. Cool. You're an Eximus too? Why is everybody an Eximus now? I just want EXP for my blade. Thank you. How many more enemies? Four. Thank you for the stretch and posture check and the hydrate. Let me uh, get out of this mission. And I will do that. Okay, let's get out of this horrible, horrible place. Get me out of here. Alright, cool. Thank you. Back when Frost Deluxe skin was, was high and fashion, right? I'm mad. Kind of. Sort of. Sort of. That I missed out on the, uh, the heirloom shit. For Frost and what was it, Mag? I, I hate that I missed out on that, but also I wasn't about to throw down whatever it was, like a hundred bucks, to essentially just get like their crowns. I'm like, I don't know, man. Because I was not really going to use the skins that much, especially not the second one. Frost was okay, but I did not like Mags. Yeah, $90. Yeah, I was not, I was not having that at all. Not one bit. No worries, foo foo, when you get a chance. Yes, I already stretched. Let me get the drink. Thank you, thank you, Brittany. But yeah, it was it was painful. What did that unlock? I don't have to do these. Dope. Okay, anyway, back to normal. Um How much did that actually get towards my weapon? I didn't check. Oh, it maxed it out. Nice, 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 nice. I can take that weapon off. Very nice. Because that one is bu -bu 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 buns. I like this one. So I've decided that in addition to Clam Call is one of the few I can trust in this world. So you just you just like the Grenier. I got you. <laughs> you trust the Grenier. I see. I see. I understand. I get it. I see I see what you're putting down. Clem. Um Slowly hides Gratler. Oh no. Hiding that Gratler. I waited for a really good paycheck to get the heirloom stuff. I more so just wanted the Signa and Mag skin. See, I was the opposite. I would have gotten frost I would have preferred frost skin and then the Signas. Um, which I would have loved the Signas. I think that the um, Frost Signa would probably look really, really cool on Dante. But um, alas, I did not get it. And I, I think they said it's not coming back. It's basically like the uh, the the never coming back of the um, uh, Excalibur Prime. I mean, it's not that there wouldn't be more heirloom skins, of course. But I think they said that, that those two will not be returning. At least not any foreseeable future. The Corpus Roomba spy on you. They do. I have a couple, actually. There's a uh, one here. And I got a Verve one here, which was from, like, Twitch or something like that, I think. Um, and then I got a Maggot. I also have a Maggot 
prime somewhere. I don't think that's the maggot prime. And here's my trophy room. Speaking of which, uh, orbiter decorate. I now have. What is this? Oh, ooh, ooh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. I have Steinax's stuff there, so let's put like Steinax's stuff like. Uh, how do I rotate? There we go. Uh, yeah, no, that makes more sense this way. Yippee! Yeah, let's lag out my ship even more. Yippee! Actually, wait, I could put it right next to it. Oh, no, not really. I could like. I could like put it here, I guess. Good enough. I don't care. Um, and then gold legendary. Do I care about putting my legendary ones? Nah, I got the original mastery ones. That's fine. That's just more taking up things. Um, never coming back. Legit, the only FOMO they introduced. Thick Miku mix Octavia. Thank you. Um. <laughs> Uh, I have all of them, but the maggot, and it irritates me to no end. Oh yeah, little maggot buddy. Yeah, it, it it's unfortunate. I don't like I don't like FOMO in game FOMO in games. I I do. I am all for temporary FOMO, right? And then creating a means for you to get it later. So like, a good instance of that would be Final Fantasy fourteen, right? Everything that comes out for their seasonal events, you basically you have exclusivity for it for like a year or two right and then eventually when that event recirculates again you usually have the option of purchasing them on the mog stations and i think that's fine i think that's definitely fine you missed out on it but you have the means of getting it you know it's one way of getting it and it helps you know with the with the you know an optional thing like if you care that much about collecting it you're going to pay that amount right but it's not something that is like required of you right it's they're not locking anything that's you know progressive at all behind it um oh yeah i also missed out on the uh the signa for the gargoyle thing too because i didn't finish constructing the gargoyle for my dojo and that event ended so i missed out on getting the um the fancy one that has like the leaves on it and stuff like that the very greek looking one oh i should play i should actually i should play you know what no i haven't actually used octavia yet We'll do it. We'll do something with Octavia, and then I'll switch to like Steinax or something, because I I have Steinax's pretty new skin, but I haven't uh broken it out yet. I also prefer Prime Vault versus the Prime Resurgence. Yep, same. I agree with that. I completely agree with that. Um, let's see. What could we do? What could we do? Also, my music stopped. Is it doing that? Are you still listening thing? Yes, it is. Um. I don't feel like doing a spy, man. Crossfire Sabo. Do an next term, I guess. Actually, I don't want to do it as. Ah, uh, yeah, fuck it. We'll do it as Octavia. Whatever. Yeah, the Prime Resurgence, I haven't really... I don't really care. I don't know. The, vault, the Vaulting, I think, is a little bit better of a system, I think. Personally, I guess. Your weapons make music. And the okay, let me get my energy back. For a song. Hunt is on, Tenno. The synthesis scanner is detecting a potential target. Use it. Search for traces of the target. Mm-mm-mm. Go ahead, attack that. Let's see. Will they kill? Him? Will they kill themselves? Good. Not really. Why are you getting hit? Here, have louder music. Um, I am now max rank with Steel Meridian. Very nice. Are you gonna do what I did and get every single item even though it's completely pointless? Yeah. 
Realistically, I should have brought Dante for this. Or literally anybody with room clear, but... I was like, I want to at least get one mission in as a... Uh, as her. So we'll just, you know, I guess take it slow, I guess, you know? Nice, cozy, slow, invisible... Invisible Octavia, Octavia shenanigans. Wow. You're really messing yourself up, man. Can let me help you. Cool. Stay focused. There's a heavy unit approaching. Mm -hmm. Uh, hello. Where's the other one? Oh, hi. There we go. Cool. I need energy back again. I love this weapon. Um, I just want a new shotgun. Oh, that's fair. That's fair. I love the uh, Incarnon shotgun. The Fen Fenmore or whatever. No, 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 this is the Fenmore. The, um, shit, Ph Phalanx or whatever the hell it's called. Phalanx. Phalanx. Whatever that thing. Oh, it summoned a lich thing. That's mad funny. Hey, maybe I'll get the one item I need. You know, the odds against, you know, 20 other things, man. Are oh, you kind of durable? What do you got? Nope, that's not what I need. That's crazy how much I don't need that. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Yeah, we're stuck with it. And I need to get my Arbiter's ranked up. Got my... My credit's been leveling me. Uh, Suda is painful. All this time, my only shotgun is the comb. Zara doesn't count, apparently. Oh, fair, fair, fair. They're just gonna die in a second. That's fine. Man, I'm really wishing I actually brought, like, a, a frame for this, but it's alright. Get all, get all, you know what? Here, have stabbies. Boom. Here, have uh, loud music. Isn't that crazy? Isn't that insane? Let me nourish. There you go. Have fun with that. Are you dying? Are you actually dying? Hey, kind of are. Hello. Mm -mm. I gotta go hit that thing, I guess. Man, I hate this mechanic of locking doors. Imagine locking doors when people uh, raid your base. Like, that's crazy. Imagine having any form of secure. Oh, hi. How'd you get through? Sheesh. Startled on me. Oh, they're all just like sitting behind cover back here. That's really cute. That's really cute. Adorable. Wait, are you here? Yeah, you are here. Cool. Uh, only ones I'm perma locked out of are Perrin and Loka. But like, well, I mean, you could switch your affiliation later down the line. Stay focused. You can get all the things you need from them and then switch later. Oh, that's the synthesis target. I don't, I don't care about that. I could care less about that. Go ahead, go fight that thing. Go ahead. Oh yeah, look at that. Isn't that weird? Isn't that crazy? That's insane. Oh, Mania's hunting me. Will Mania know where I am? I don't know. I don't know if he'll know. Nope, he does not know. He did not know. Okay, anyway. Hey, Mushi! Moo, how you doing? How you doing? How you doing? 
I'm hated by the judges and that one music obsessed Cephalon. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Fair enough. Uh, like I said, it's only a minute amount of frames unlocked from, and one of my buddies plays is running pair and look anyways. Yeah, that works. Yeah, you can, you know, mooch off of each other's uh, weapons. It works out in the end. I don't remember Warframe looking like this. Graphically or mechanically? Which portion of it? Because all of it has changed over the years, so. What are you guys looking at? Someone here? That's crazy. What's happening? Whoa, what's happening? Huh? You guys are just dying out of nowhere. That's crazy. It's so weird. Oh, hi. I didn't mean for you guys to notice me. Sorry, I'm gone now. I'm excited for the lighting changes to plan on doing for... An yeah, I mean, they already did lighting changes with this patch, so it's like... It's crazy that they keep updating it. Like, Warframe at this point is like Warframe like 3 or 4. But without them having to be like, Overwatch 2! It's like, no, they just updated the game that already exists. Person evaporates in front of you. Hmm, must have been the wind, yeah. And like, they just, you know, it's weird. They're just... I have the music turned off for like the... For the Mandacord, so like... They're literally just getting attacked by nothing. Oh shit, you see me. Whoa, what's happening? That's crazy. Oh yeah, I can leave. I don't know why I'm playing with them. I don't know. <laughs> From superiority conflicts, I uh, clicked in there or something, I don't know. Weird. Your will was greater. This is good. But more! Yeah, I mean, it's, it's, uh... It's really, it's really, it's really cool how much they keep, like, updating it and stuff. I will make my PC explode from superior graphics. Yeah, I don't even think I have everything, like, maxed out either. But this game looks good. I, I especially thinking about what this game looked like so many years ago. Like, it, it, it literally does not look like the same game at all. Even to just a couple of years ago. Like, this, this detail. First off, the, there was no ceiling like this either. The, the roof of this area was completely sealed. So the moment they added the window, it was like, oh my god, that's crazy. That was so much fun zooming around as an ballistic <laughs> wolf girl turning people into moist confetti. Ah, yes. We love the moist confetti. We're Styanex. Look at this, man. Look at this unit. So cool. Oh my god, he's caked up to all hell. Excuse me. <laughs> Okay. I love the nipple tassels for real. Yeah, they're actually really pretty. Like, legit, just a really nice adornment. <laughs> Thank you for the lurk, Yoko. Um, how do I have Styanax built, anyways? He looks so good, and I have the, the new, uh, like, sand ephemera on him. I just have like sand everywhere and I think it looks really really cool. Um Yeah, what do, how do I have him built? 239 strength. Relative balance also corrosive projection. Is that no, that's probably the best thing to have on him. Yeah. I don't have anything on him here. Let's do molt augmented and molt um efficiency. You are incapable of producing the hydro. That sounds pretty nice. You got his augment on for Overguard? I do not. I could do that. But, um... I think I have it. I think I own it. Up. Wrong tab. Uh, clear satisfaction and gain immunity. Each javelin hits an enemy Overguard. Ah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's also... I think he has another one, doesn't he? That makes it so that his... His, like, um... His, like, after images, like, hover around him, throwing his spears every now and again. I think he has another one like that that I can get. I could also put my Grendel one on. I don't know if it really matters, though. 
nonetheless, he looks so good. It's so good. Like the shininess of the metal. I don't like the lighting right here. Oh, there we go. It's kind of nice. So cool. And I got like, uh, what you might call him? Dante's uh, Cyan Don on. It's really nice too. Yeah, Sindana, yeah. Um, I was called Sindana, even though, yeah, that's not what it is. For years, I've called it that. Man, I don't know what I want to do. I could just, like, randomly queue into a mission and just kind of, like, fuck around and help people, I guess. Yeah, I'll just jump into Hydron. Whatever people are doing in here leveling, you know. I'm a sucker for fashion framing. I mean, I think everybody is. That's like that's like the only truth. Like end game is getting everything you can for cosmetics. And when I'm, I'm gonna eventually redo my whole ship because I found like I might want to make it look like some like some like Greek kind of place. I have all the assets for it or the means of getting those assets. I mean, I'm just here for the memes. I literally have nothing to gain out of this. Oh, this is the OP for Trigun Stampede, and I I have actually never, um, I don't think I've finished Trigun Stampede. I don't believe I did, anyways. Trying to make my ship more homey, but that means Zeraman standing, Agony. Yeah, that's valid. That is indeed very valid. Hitting the wrong ability, hee <laughs> hee. It is one that makes this ability make it so that you have after images of yourself as one of his augments and they throw spears. It's kind of cool. Wow. Like, sure, I have a giant stockpile of feathers, but the daily standing cap is the bane of my existence once more. That is that is one system I kind of wish that they would kind of dial back with this game, is its reliance on, like, daily caps and stuff. I don't know. I feel like it's a really good system for mobile games to have daily things, because you want a reason for your players to get on every day. But, like, the reason for you to get on every day in this game is because you have so much bullshit you have to do. So it shouldn't have to be that I'm also gated on the progress I can make in a single day, but especially not now when there's like so much content, right? You have literally 11 years worth of like things to grind for, content to do, and at least two major releases a year, like I don't know. I think it's a little bit dated of a system. I would hardly say that that is that it's actually for them to make sure that you don't burn out in a single day. No company gives a fuck if you burn out in a single day. They care about you playing it for as much as possible. So the actual reason is is that you know you 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 have to you have to play the game for longer periods of time, right? That is the actual company intent is for you to have to play the game for longer than you intend to, because you will ultimately play the game for a lot longer. Um, uh, because you will be limited to how much progress you can make in a day, how much MR you can capitalize on, how many things you can unlock, how many standings you can reach. If you were able to just in, in one week sit there and max out and all the standing of all the open and world things, you would have less of a reason to play the game the following week, right? Even if you still were in like rearing and in a good shape to play. You know, a lot of people are driven by having things to do, and if you're able to burn through that content quickly, then you have less of a reason to play their game. And they're not going to want their player numbers to dip, right? So, that's the, that's the real reality of why the lockout exists. Someone's ability to burn themselves out from doing a lot of content is a kind of a, a them issue and not a game issue. Because if you 
decide to do everything in one day, that's kind of your decision. The game doesn't make you do that. Extraction is ready. And in this, in this, wow, people are leaving on, well, are we on five? Like, people are leaving at five? Wow. I came to just act as an extra body, but these guys are like, nah. I needed exactly two weeks EXP. <laughs> now it's probably because like between like all the boosters that are running right now, they probably actually maxed out whatever they're leveling off of that. Because like I have three EXP boosters right now. It'd be such prime leveling if I had anything to actually level. I mean I could go finish leveling, I guess, my Necromech, but I don't know. He looks so he looks so good, man. So good. And he's caked up. That's a plus, man. More frames with males being caked up, man. Like nothing, nothing beats Wisp though. I mean, Wisp is is the queen of is cake, man. Look at that. Like I don't know, man. They're fine with making very large cod pieces for the guys, but it's not a, there's not enough cake. Not enough cake. Even more grabbable ways to yeah, right. Right. How's Najah's waist? I mean, in this skin, you know what? Najah's got a waist, yeah. Got good, got 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 good. Uh, some boy hips. I also love my nausea. I never use nausea, but my my aesthetic for them is like one of my favorites for all the Warframes. And I have like a Mirage animation on for them. Looks so good. Um, how does my Saren look? Oh yeah, like, toxic. <laughs> Go figure. My Calerva is also really nice too. Very simple, I made him look like he's primed, basically, that's all I did. But I like it. Very sharp edges, blades everywhere. Um, another one, I, I, I like my, my Titania as well. Pretty nice. Got extra arms from Sometimes one of the Zarya things. I also haven't changed what they think they the color of everything on her chest. Oh wait, how does this how does this look on her? Eh, it's too much. There we go. Very ethereal. <laughs> you, you, I can't see it. I appreciate it. I spent a lot of time on fashion framing. This one, I, this one I did ages ago. I haven't touched Trinity since. Oof. I don't know. She's just not relevant. It's been it's been years. It's been many years. When they came out with the night skin for this one. Ignore the weapon, because, like, it's not relevant to it, but yeah. I also worked on making, uh, we have a prime at home for my Varuna. Oh, okay, I understand what you mean. I was like, what the fuck you mean? <laughs> what does that mean? This is my Varuna. Just gold. It's literally gold. She has been silently replaced. She's been violently replaced she was she the only thing that she's super valuable for still is her energy thing her ability to just give everybody infinite energy but if you have like multiple people running arcane energize that is supplemented by that and almost everybody has arcane energy maxed out who cares about having infinite energy so it's unfortunate you know and, and harrow can just kind of do it better right and do more I think they need to revisit Trinity, but I don't think they need to gut her. That's the thing. I think they just need to make it so that um, her abilities are offensive, right? That they can do exactly what they do, but they have more offensive to it. So, like, make, you know, Well of Life also deal damage to enemies around it or something like that, right? Proportionate to the healing that it does. Um, or scaling in some way off of it. Link needs to be overtuned to all hell. I think Link really needs to literally just unga fucking bunga damage reflect. It should be like a 
to the level of Octavia's um, abilities. I think it needs to reflect, right? Um, and then, like, Energy Vampire, uh, it's fine. You're really just going to use it to get your energy back real quick. And if you have any bit of strength on it, it instantly fills anybody's energy, so it's like, whatever. And Blessing, I think, just needs to, on top of what it already does, I think it just needs to buff people. I think it needs to not just do a da damage reduction, I think it needs to actually buff damage. And become like a like a roar and then it would be it would be enough to make her kind of relevant and then her passive the revive ball and enemies faster thing fuck that no just make it make it so that uh her passive makes it so that when she uses uh any of her healing abilities it, it reses people or something if you want to stay within the the medic spe you know, spectrum right so you just you know do your ultimate and everybody gets the fuck back up like that should just be it. I don't know. It's just, just everything she can do, someone else can do better. Unfortunately, Geyer, Geyer. Oh, what does my Geyer look like? I haven't touched Geyer in a while. Oh, there she is. Oh yeah, my my prime to uh, my prime frame. <laughs> if I don't know what to do, I just prime them. That's it. Let's give them that white. Black gold aesthetic. Very pretty. Um, Living Turbine. I mean, she's really fun. And also the fact that she just creates red crits is kind of fun. Like, even if it's not the most optimal means of, like, dealing a bunch of damage, the fact that she just kind of creates red crits is really cool. And that those red crits apply to her abilities is also really fun. Um... She just is uh, very squish, is an unfortunate part of her ability. But you could put like Rolling Guard or something on her and kind of get around that a bit. Rolling Guard and some decent arcanes, and you can kind of get around that. I like my how my Caliban looks, but he's probably arguably the worst frame in the game. Like, even worse than Nyx. Because nothing he does is great. At least Nyx can do something cool. Like, sh Nyx has a really strong armor strip and really strong CC, in theory. Even though Nyx is also horrible, but Caliban's just fucking... Like, no, no I, I've never... I haven't seen a Caliban since he came out. I probably have, but it's been that forgettable that I, I, I haven't recognized it. I'll at least still see, like, a Nyx around here and there, but I will never see a fucking Caliban. Not to mention he's kind of a pain in the ass to get, but um, I don't see many Baruch's too. But Baruch's really fun too. Baruch's really really fun. I love Baruch. Just clearing whole rooms with punching. That's really nice. Dagath is really cool. Don't like her cosmetics, but Dagath is cool. Citrine's amazing. I heard punching. Yeah, Baruch punching things. Yeah. When it comes to games like Warframe, I take the mindset of, if at first you don't succeed, keep doing it until something cool happens. I mean, the, the cool thing about Warframe is, is as much as I can, like, sit here and say, like, oh, so-and-so is a shit Warframe or whatever. Um, uh, as much as I could say, like, you know, Ivara is not that great or something, right? Um, since you asked about Ivara. Um... It's like you can build them in a way that makes them good for you, right? Like you may not be able to do the crazy room clears that some other Warframe can do or something like that, but you can really cement your playstyle with a Warframe, which is pretty nice. Yeah, like you'll, there'll always be someone who has found that one cracked way of playing that frame. And I think I think a big thing, a big issue with like a lot of people's mentalities when working with Warframes is everybody expects every Warframe to essentially be the most OP thing. Like if, if, if it's not another Wisp, if you're not Wisp who can do everything, if you're not um, Octavia who can do everything, if you're not Titania who can just speed through the entire game like it's nothing, then what are you, right? But like the thing is, is like everyone just looks at like damage numbers or that one trick that they have, but there's ways that you can play all of these frames and make them viable to the play style or the, or the aesthetic that you want, right? Like by no means am I gonna sit here at any point and be like, oh yeah, my Lavos doesn't do as much damage as my Mesa. Why are you comparing Lavos and Mesa? They don't they don't fundamentally do the same thing, right? 
It's like saying, well, you know, Trinity doesn't do the same damage as fucking Mesa. Why, why would Trinity do the same damage as Mesa, right? This is like MMO mentality with these, these things. They're different classes, right? You have your tanks, you have your healers, you have your mages, you have your, you know, ranged DPS. You got your assassins and stuff. They're all, they all have their own purposes. It doesn't feel good when a frame comes out and they're not good at anything, right? Like if, if Trinity came out right now in the state that she's in right now, no one would want to play Trinity at all because there's so many better options. But you still can use her for it. Like I use Ivara for stealth. Ivara, you can do a really cool thing, right? I don't know if a lot of people know this, but with Ivara, um, if you bullet jump forward and then aim dash and turn around, you can shoot her stealth arrow at your um, at your sentinel that's following you, and it sticks to the sentinel, and therefore you have a moving stealth field with you. So you can build full duration with her arrows and just shoot it at the fucking sentinel. It takes a little bit of practice, but once you get it down, then you can turn her into an infinite stealth frame instead of having to alternate between circles that you have to cast and um, her slow prowl walk. So you can actually just shoot the sentinel. It's pretty pretty cool. Little t I used to really like Ivara. I love how this game rewards creativity. Oh, absolutely. And like things that are technically bugs, they just kind of go, yeah, you know what? It's a feature now, you know? Like uh like Mag, right? I'm mean, not Mag, um Nova. Her speedva thing is not meant to happen. That's a bug. But they never fixed it because they're like, you know what? People like it. Fair enough. Go negative energy, it speeds things up, sure. I've heard that one. I mainly also built for Archons, but then the uh Ah, fair, 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 fair. Yeah, you can do that too. Um who else is like really criminally like underrated? I mean not Hydroid got a facelift. Hydroid's freaking awesome now. Hydroid's dope. I like him now. Now that he's not just a puddle. <laughs> Grendel's cracked. It's not in the way most people think. Also, I forgot how edgy my Grendel looks. Holy shit. Um, Archon's gonna have to deal with them eventually. They're not bad. Um, the worst one is the snake. The snake's probably the worst one. Um, but she's not bad. Just don't get turned to stone, you're good. The worst part about Archon's is if you, you know, if you die, you're gone. That's it. So you have to be prepared to bring a frame that can survive over anything else. Like usually I, I recommend bringing a frame that survives and then bringing a um, a weapon that kills, right? Focus your weapon on killing the Archon and focus your um, frame on survival. Yeah, my meatball looks like a freaking Oni, man. Oni beetle. My Korra is very bloody. Also got cake too. Got I got a full on bakery. My Gauss is fun. My my Gauss is really fun. I haven't built for uh for room clear with a uh, negative strength. <laughs> I have him with negative strength, but it's it's for room clear, so it's all in it's all in range. Because um he has this quirky little thing where his scaling on his um abilities changes during redline. And so if I actually am in a hundred percent full like overcapped red line, um, it basically negates the strength issue. And because of how the, the damage is calculated on thermal sunder, um it basically is like this I'm not actually in the negative. So then I can focus instead on being on full duration and range. And it makes him able to like basically one shot kill like really high level enemies. Which is really fucking stupid. And then if you actually get um, red crystals, which I need to, get them in there, and then bring the strength up, then I mean you're just net increasing his um, and his damage anyways. So, but you have to make sure that you're always at a, at max red line, but for it to be viable in anything high end. But big bag beetle, yes. At this point, I just grab Rhino with either my Boar Prime or our Fireworks. Yeah. That's fair. Yeah, Rhino, Rhino's a good one for that. 
Hey, Daji, how you doing? How you doing? How you doing? Welcome in. Hope you're doing well. Um, I don't know. Uh, this 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 frame is horrible. I don't know. I, I was I was talking with Kieran about it, and Kieran started trying out Zephyr, and Zephyr's just <laughs> has nothing. It's uh, Zephyr's a meme. I used to use Zephyr for um when planes came out. I used to use um, Zephyr to basically fly around the planes of Eidolon because that was like before everyone had access to the the, um, the Archwing deployer. I just woke up. Well, good morning. Good morning, good morning. Um, I am a filthy shotgun main in this game. I mean, luckily, there's a lot of good shotguns, even though there are some shotguns that aren't your typical shotguns. Like a really good shotgun, for instance, is also the Archiplasmor. Um, but that also doesn't shoot normally. Also, yeah, adds, yeah. Yeah, unfortunately. Well, well I'll, I'll, I'm not doing anything crazy right now, so we're good to just chill anyways. But, um, yeah, Titania was my main for the longest period of time. Pretty. How you doing? Also, I hope everyone is is doing well tonight. I haven't said that in a minute. Nope, just saying hi, Brittany. How you doing? You doing pretty good? Uh, I need... Uh, not that. I need, um... Sparrow. There we go. What mods do I have on Sparrow? Yeah. Brittany's here now. It's a party. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Doing just fine tonight. May or may not fall asleep during stream because I took my sleepy time meds. All good. All good. Are we back from ads? Has it been three minutes? I don't know if it's been three minutes. <laughs> Armor is high. How long until... Oh, Arbitration's reset. It's defense again with Korra being the the cracked one. I see. I would play Titania, but I'm not sure how motion sick you, you guys will get. I play Titania like you don't even know what's happening on the screen. And uh, I don't want to subject anybody to that. You can go back to Dante or do Baruch, maybe. Um. Hmm. Yeah, let's just go back to Dante for now. Eh. Eh. Meh. Ads are, our ads are done rolling. Well, welcome back then. I don't know if you heard, but also good morning, Dodgy. Um. I play a cracked speed gauss. Titania is fine, Lamo. I mean, Titania is the fastest frame in the game. So, like, she's kind of crazy. Like, uh, the amount of times I'll stream her, like, in Discord or something, and people are just like, I can't watch you play her. Because she just goes, like, wham. Like, you, you would think, you know, gauss or... Um, or Volt would be the fastest frame since they're built to be speed frames, but Titania is the fastest. Yeah, so... Especially because she can ignore, like, locations, right? Because Gauss gets locked into, like, running in a straight line, and Volt still has to deal with hardcore parkour, but if you're good at controlling the Razor Wing, then you're just gone. I mean, even without the Blitz, you know, but Razor Wing Blitz does make it even quicker. Makes her even faster. Even with, like, you don't need to do anything to her to make her fast. Bomb. Yeah, I'll just bring Dante because I don't know what I'm doing anyways. We'll do this arbitration and then we'll wrap up stream because... I said I was only going to go for two hours and now we're on three hours, so... Or whatever I said. Whatever I said. I don't remember what I said. I was only going to go for a little bit longer. 20 minutes or whatever. And now we're here, so it's been like an hour. 
Whatever, whatever time that's been. I have clipped through several walls with her. I'm sure. Is there another Dante? There's three Dantes. I was about to say, I'm like, why do I have so much over, over shield and I haven't done anything yet? Because everyone is Dante right now. Found the late night Dantes. You were just vibing and so were we. Is that an Impy emote I see? Look at Impy. Only thing in this game that actually makes me motion sick is Railjack. That's interesting that that's the thing that does it. I have a lot of people who either like, either they get motion sick, a lot of friends, um, maybe get motion sick trying to watch me play this, or, um, it just hurts their eyes. Lots of the, fl all the flashing, all the dashing, all that crazy stuff. It's kind of like one of those things too, where it's like, you know, it's different when you're in control of it. Because you're expecting every jump and every movement, but they're not expecting every jump and every movement. It's like people who get motion sick only when they're specifically in the back of the back of the car. How strong are you guys? I, I couldn't tell because that guy shot it, but yeah, they're they're okay. I saw that you really got a new augment that makes it so that she. She can ride next to Marilena instead of riding on her. And I'm just like, interesting. And and then instead, um, Marilena will like cast her abilities. I'm like, these are very interesting augments now. It's just, uh, it's just Railjack and when I pilot it. Yeah, I don't know. That is a pretty interesting thing. I'm glad that I don't have any issues like that. The only thing that will happen with Warframe is I will get headaches. I'm very prone to, like, migraines, as is. And all of the flashing, all of the bullet jumping, all that kind of stuff, after, like, you know, a while of playing, it'll fuck me up. And that's also why... Um... It just ends up messing you up me up anyways. This guy's like, Dante gives o um, over shields and then we're all like, yep. And he just goes, <laughs> he just goes, what does he do? And I'm just like, yep. <laughs> He heals too, that's the thing. His overshield thing heals, and then when he does when he does light thing, I get invulnerability. This test has only which is insane. So you got an on-demand invuln built into his kit, just like Wisp has an on-demand invuln built into her kit. Um and then um he has buffs, debuffs. He has and the you know and it's offensive ability here that just auto seeks targets. He has like raid wide slash attack that applies you know procs immediately. An ability that detonates those procs. An ability that gives overguard on its own. The newer the frame, the more busted they are is not usually common in this game. That's not actually true. I would say a majority of frames that have come out are usually either incredibly overtuned or incredibly undertuned and usually it leans on the later end of it. There's been a lot more warframes that they needed to actually go back and and buff over the coming weeks than there have been warframes that have inherently come out as strong warframes. 
that's uh, the, that's and that's the unfortunate reality is because they i think lately they've been kind of nailing it with making stronger warframes and that's something that they should do as a you know as a pve game i think they should be you know it should come out in a better state but there have been a lot i think a good like 70 percent of the warframes have come out in a very lackluster state and have needed patching a man limbo needs to be buff. Man has been shadow nerfed to literal hell, especially since the Xmas. Oh yeah, his his power, his damage scaling is non-existent. Is the value of his isolation is really only good on your own. Like he's probably one of the strongest frames as far as making sure that you don't die. Like because of the fact that he can decide who's on what plane. Like he's te he's technically like arguably one of the tankiest warframes because he could just be like, okay, well. We're not on the same plane, so I'm going to ignore you. Um, but that's a get. Even then, Eximus ignore that? I mean, that is very true. But I mean, like, Eximus ignore the isolation, but you could still isolate yourself and get the distance that you need with the Warframe. It also comes down to player skill at the end of it, too. It shouldn't just be all up to the Warframe, but... He, but he is incredibly bad, yes. Nonetheless, he is 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 shit tier. I tried playing him the other day and I was like, nah man. Ain't it. They need they need to revisit how his abilities work. I think honestly the plane switching thing, I think allies should always be able to hit the targets. I think that's one thing. Because nothing feels worse than getting accidentally sucked into the void. Because you walked into a shift portal from a limbo or happen to be in proximity of his one and then yeah you can get out of it just by dashing but that fucking sucks man at least as a as a limbo you can kind of decide which plane you're on but you kind of just get kind of forced into it with um being a uh, another character you know Yeah, that, that's what kept killing me when I was doing the arson ones, yeah. And I was like, yeah, not worth it. Not worth it. But Limbo is also, like, it's not just, like, the, sh the issue of shadow banning. Like, shadow, shadow nerfing, not shadow banning. Um, it's also an issue of he kind of fell in that point when Warframe took another shift. Right? Because all of his abilities are kind of about being stationary and defensive. Um, so he kind of came in at the end of the whole, like, we're going to have the stationary meta, right? And so, like, at, the game continued to catapult forward into hyper-mobile, hyper, you know, interactive kind of gameplay. And he kind of fell into kind of like an archaic kind of placement pretty quick on. Like, pretty, pretty quick. Like, I think what they really should do is they should allow him to do the plane shifting, but then he should also have um, an ability that allows him to do, to influence both planes. So, like, I think his ultimate, instead of being, like, instead of having, well, instead of having his bubble thing, right? I mean, I guess he could still have it, but I'd rather them change it with an ability that anyone that he isolates into the realm, he just kind of fucking nukes. He just, like, shreds, like, sunders them between the realms. And just does that as his ability. And it's just higher damage if they happen to be in his plane. And so then you have that thing where you just isolate enemies and then just nuke them all. Um, I think that would be pretty fun. Just the kind of like, you know, the clap of the thunder right there. I think that'd be really cool. Feel, it'd feel like smiting people. Um, but it should hit regardless. It should hit everybody, but do higher damage to those you isolate. You can still pick and choose who takes the higher amount of damage. Um, they can even do some kind of scaling off of however many enemies are banished, increases the amount of damage all those enemies take. Um, is Rift Surge, I think is, I think that's, I guess that's fine. The Stasis is fine too. Um, Stasis is really nice actually, but, um, yeah, I don't know. It's, bit of miss, I guess, but. I don't know. There's there's a lot of there's a lot of things. It, the Warframe has that issue of like, it's been around for eleven years now. 
it's changed identity like four or five times and progressed and then like having that bloat of so many warframes so many weapons so many systems mechanics changes to those mechanics you know every time they change something they inadvertently change a lot of other things so like change going and adding overguard that changes things right going and adding uh shield gating that changes things going and adding more methods to get health and energy back that changes things and so like it's kind of got that like issue of just kind of like you know times are constantly going to make things relevant and relevant and they can't really keep up with it without having like a dedicated team specifically to just and only rebalancing like and then having a team that's focusing on new content and having that ability to communicate between each other that'd be a big thing right because like it, it just ends up making it very difficult that they end up always having to play catch up a lot of vestigial parts of the game left to rot in favor of adding more and more new things yeah and it, it it's not really like a, a bad thing like yeah you could say like hey can you can you take like a couple months just to rebalance the whole game instead of releasing new content but you know a lot of people aren't going to want that and so it's just one of those things where it's just you know they really just need their own team dedicated to playing catch up like in a, in a perfect world like you would have a team that's focusing on new content a team that's playing catch up and then a team that is kind of working a middle ground right and but what i mean by the middle ground is when they're working to change things in the future that team is aiding the other team to support the transition and then the other team's sole duty is doing that full time and so then you can have a have a group that's focusing solely on going forward fix the damage reduction on kuva liches so that non-max players can actually kill them yeah liches are kind of crazy with that yeah they are pretty pretty bad and then you see like a max player come in and they just fucking like one shot them <laughs> it's 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 really really funny it's it's i mean it's not it's not in the moment but it's funny in hindsight um but yeah it's it's i don't know there's 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 a lot of things that they need to touch up on but i have faith in them kind of doing it over time that they'll they'll do what needs to be done to increase and improve upon um the game systems because they have i you know I, I have faith in um and the developers and stuff like that they, especially ever since um ever since rebecca took charge rebecca has do, been doing an incredible job with leading the team and and doing stuff i think um it, it was really needed like don't get me wrong i love i love steve but i think it kind of became one of those things of like where you for better lack of the words you have like the 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 old man that is you know caught in their ways and you need that fresh young outlook and i think that was what kind of needed to happen to push warframe into an even better position like i don't think at any point it would have been like bad under remaining with under steve um but i think that rebecca was what was needed to push the game into a new new generation right a new a new outlook a new a new version of itself so and uh, and it, it's good too because like one thing I really like is that everybody everybody that we know from the original Warframe team is just moving up, right? It's not like we're seeing like completely new faces and being like, who the fuck is this new head of like, you know, Warframe? It's like, you know, Rebecca went from being but a but a meager social media manager to being in charge of live operations to being the the community manager, like the whole community manager to then going up to um um you know, now running the creative direction of Warframe while Steve himself has become the CEO of the company. And then everyone beneath Rebecca has bumped up and now you have, you know, Megan who's now in Rebecca's old position and whatnot. So it's like, it's really nice to see all of these positions, the same with, you know, Pedro going up and stuff like that. Everybody's gone up and you've seen everybody get upgraded rather than having new faces come in and fill slots that these veterans could take. So that's cool. I don't think we've gotten a Hydroid or an RS rework with Steve around. No, we wouldn't have. We wouldn't have. No, no, it would not have happened. That would have been pushed into the back burner to to favor production of um, new content and the production of Soul Frame. Where is the dog? 
the dog game i mean that was hours ago but yeah it was it was a short little game it's like a 20 minute game that i stretched out for like an hour <laughs> so i stretched it out for like an hour and 20 minutes really really stretched it out this is widely considered one of the biggest anime betrayals in evolutionary hey, hey, hey. history you came you're, you're here three hours later expecting it to still be here man i didn't have enough content in that game to do it it's just one level <laughs> I already stretched it out by trying to get every achievement. I couldn't even get all the achievements. I missed like three. Sag. But in any case, I am incredibly tired. Um, we're gonna we're gonna raid out. We're gonna go hang out with um with Spartan here. Uh who's who's a good buddy. They are currently um playing Shinkansen uh zero. So it is a I'm on observation duty esque spot the difference kind of game, uh, but it's made by um, Chilla's Art, who does all the spooky horror games and stuff like that. Um, very reminiscent of Exit Eight because that that's, seems to be the Japanese trend right now, is making, <laughs> literally replicating Exit Eight, sitting there and having the kind of seven or eight loop thing. That format of um. Spot the Difference game seems to be the current Japanese trend, which I'm all here for because they're really cool and really fun. Um, but yeah, so that, that's what they're up to. Appreciate everybody for chilling with me. I appreciate all the uh, the fun with the dog stuff. Um, I will probably be chopping up the dog portion of the stream into a video, as well as the horror game that we were um, given a code for to play the other day. Yeah, I'm Xanonum. Xanonum. I can never say it, man. Um, I'll have the, those videos up within the next two weeks. Um, so anyone who's missed out or doesn't feel like watching the VOD or wants to relive it later down the line, you guys are welcome to watch it there. Appreciate everybody for chilling. We'll be back Monday with our regular scheduled programs. I will see you guys later. Have a good night.